the hell am I? Uh, uh, wait, why am I chained up? She have that you smile. Did this Shinigami? Is this why I made a pact with you? I don't understand any of this. Where are we? Hmm. Simply put, it's an alternate universe. It's got that kind of vibe, right? An alternate universe. Well, you don't sound surprised. Come on, it's awesome. You probably think it's cliched, huh? Well, this isn't any old alternate universe. Check this out. Ta-da! This is the Mystery Labyrinth. It's a maze that materializes mysteries from the real world. Materializes mystery? Unsolved mysteries become lost to time, right? Well, here, they actually take shape as a mystery. Now, this maze is the mystery? I have the power to interact with this Mystery Labyrinth. And that's why we were able to come here in the first place. Master, we're gonna beat the Amaterasu Express Massacre mystery. What happens when we beat it? In every case, there's a hidden truth. And we have to find the truth deep inside this mystery labyrinth. So, if we beat this mystery labyrinth, the truth of that case will be revealed. Naturally, so will the true identity of the killer. Now, let's solve this thing. We'll discover the killer's identity, too? You couldn't solve it in reality, so we're solving it in this alternate universe. They're two sides of the same coin. But whether or not you discover the truth depends on the person entering the labyrinth. The more complex the mystery is in the real world, the more complex the maze will be, too. Killers in real world cases throw whatever obstacles they can at investigators, right? Those are also materialized into the maze, so this is gonna be a tough battle. So, you're saying there are traps in there? Yup. Looks like you're finally getting it. Now that I've explained it all, let's head into the dungeon. Okay, so... Hold on. I, I don't understand any of this. Seriously, you don't get it? Uh, a mystery labyrinth is a maze based on a real mystery. This one is formed from the murder on the Amaterasu Express. Yep, you're right so far. So, if there's always a hidden truth inside a mystery labyrinth... The Amaterasu Express cake? Yup, you totally get it. What? I don't get anything. Sheesh. You can't just guess. You're someone. a bench warmer detective. You're in an old. Of course I am. Okay. Uh, I'll explain more about. If you have any more questions along the way, stare at my boobs for eight seconds. Why? <laughs> Why you made my stare your boobs at eight seconds? <laughs> what have you been doing? Are we really going that far, cheating at me? No, oh, fuck That'll make all your worries disappear. Yeah, but you still get arrested. No, it won't! Please, explain it. Relax, relax. I'll tell you in due time. Come on, let's go. Time to unriddle this mystery lap. Ah, uh, sorry. I forgot to mention the important keys. Oh, let's see. Keys? You mean for opening doors in the dungeon? Yeah, something like that, but keys in the mystery labyrinth are used to break through mysteries. They're called solution keys, and they're essential to clear the mystery labyrinth. So, where do I find them? Solution keys are materialized clues for a case. Normally, you'd get them during the investigation. You kinda had to rush through the investigation this time around, so let's briefly review the case. For starters, Try to recall all that happened on board the Amaterasu Express. The Amaterasu Express? Uh... The Amaterasu Express is the only method of transportation in Kanai Ward. It's an automated, unmanned train with five cars. Its doors won't open while in motion, and windows are fixed in place. There were no stops before our destination, so the train kept moving until it arrived at the station. A monitor in the backup control room displays the operation log, and there was no record of the train stopping. What? <laughs> what are you vomiting for? 
Here's your solution key. Huh? You... Huh? Yeah? <laughs> you vomit all the key now? Map. Route map. Okay. Operation log. So this is... A... Mm, what do you mean? So I don't have to use... You put thought into this? So that's how words and events you think are clues get transformed into solution keys. Let's keep reviewing what happened in this... Alright. Um... Yeah, I think... Uh... The incident occurred inside the Amaterasu Express while it was still moving, including myself. There were six master detectives on board. Aphex and Poochie's abilities confirmed there were no other passengers on the train. Aphex and Poochie's faulty proved that there were no passengers besides six people inside the train. And who died first again? It was Zilch and the first car's infirmary. I noticed smoke pouring through the crack of the door, and looking through the window, I saw a knife stuck. This knife in the cops. The infirmary was on fire, so smoke quickly filled the whole air. I hurried to open the door, but it wouldn't budge because it was locked. Does that mean this was a locked room mystery? Not really. There's a chance the killer had a duplicate key. That's no fun. Anyway, I broke the door's window and unlocked the door from the inside to enter the infirmary. By then, Zilch's corpse had burnt to a cr Zilch's corpse discovered in Zilch's corpse with blood to crypts. I wanted to alert the others, so I moved. But I found Melamy's corpse there. I think she was set on fire with the liquor in the dining cup. Ooh, a flambe! A human flambe! Lamis Corpse discovered it was burned to but the face is still recognizable. That reminds me, something was off about car 2 right before the train entered the tunnel. Isn't that from entering the tunnel? It's like air pressure. Uh, winst and there was a blackout right after. Yeah, what was up with that blackout? Was there one on the other side of the tunnel? No, when we exited the tunnel, there was shaking again, but no blackout. There was something else too. Something that happened when we were in the fourth. Hmm. I wonder if that's a clue. There was a black on shaking when the train car entered the tunnel, but there was another shaking when black on shaking. And the next corpse was the little girl in the. Yeah, it was Poochie. Another burnt body. Just like the first two cars. Oh, yeah. Wasn't there a secret base thing in the third car? You mean the backup control system? The control system automatically manages the electricity within the train. When the main control system fails, it will switch to the backup system after one second. You may have amnesia, but you've got a pretty good memory. I did notice that the backup control system was actually operating. And if the backup was on, that means the main system was down. What do you think about that? The backup system? The train never stopped, so it doesn't change the fact that no one could get in or out. Yeah, that's true. Next, you found the geezer's corpse in the fourth car, right? He was also covered in burn. Was there anything strange about that? He didn't have any external wounds, but he was holding the cell phone he uses for his photography. Ab oh yeah, that useless ability. It's basically no better. Anyway, <laughs> <get> <laughs> that's the that's for now. What? I don't want that old man smell haunting my memory. Dungus Corpse, okay. Photography image. Next and last is the fifth car. The body we found in the fifth car was completely charred. It, but the necklace around the corpse's neck confirmed it was Aphex. Ugh. We also discovered a stab and wound to the chest. The killer. Also, judging by things like the plate on the wall, the fifth car appeared to be far more... Maybe the room ended up like that because the victim was on fire and running around trying to put it out. We saw the plate. Oh, and the blood on the interior lock of the fifth car's infirmary is an important clue, I think.
Uh-huh. So, I guess that does it for our review of the case? Wait, there was something else. After the train arrived at the station, According to the Peacekeeper's reports, they all burned to death. But that part seems off to me. Hmm? The victims all burned to death. And they also mentioned there was a knockout drug mixed into the drinks in the dining car. I think that's everything of note. <gasps> Again? What a big catch! This should be enough solution keys to solve it. But I still don't know how to use them. Master, you worry too much. I'm sure it'll turn out fine. Solution keys are important to solving mysteries. Yours truly is important too. Sure, hope you got all that down. Solution keys. Shinigami's tutorial skills. recorder. Labyrinth skills are ability to help you clear mystery labyrinths. Accounting. Oh, SP's a wavy. Hey, Master. Do you need a set whichever skills suit you best? Time to head off in search of the truth. Will things really turn out? I hope so, because if you get out there right now, I think they're going to get arrested. <laughs> And we got locked up. Okay, where the heck are So, this is the mystery labyrinth. It sure looks creepy. Hey, if we keep going- Come on, would I lie to you? I told you the deepest part of the labyrinth holds the truth, right? So, let's go. I'm so horny for mysteries right now. You know what? That when Shinigami is in in a, a ghost form, I'm going to call her Fluffy Gummy. Well, she, this... This dude... Uh, no, I don't think we can say call it Maybe Booby Gummy here is going to be... <laughs> the, the nickname for what I'm going to call, call this. You're... What? What? Better write this down. Playable loop. You got their places in. There are places in Mystery Level where you can just go on and on. You can't move to on the scene like this. Okay, so I can just walk forward. Okay, so. Okay, but for that. Solution keys. Okay, abilities. Come on, pay attention! Abilities you can check. You better not be scared. Hey, Master! Set whichever skills suit you best. Status. Skills. Okay, so this is what we got. Uh, just give me a second.
All right. Okay. So memory cost one. How many got? Okay. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, let's see what we got. Increased stamina. Reasoning that mesh. Mummy speed. Okay. Last resort. Evasion. Wait, that's two? Two wrong keys? Oh boy. Okay, I think I'll maybe try to put each one here first. Stand by me. Okay, I still need one more, so... Recently, that match reduced the number of color words. Easy to repel. When combined with Stand By Me, that's... Uh, increase stamina, solution keys... Okay, I think I need more, so... No skills activated. Okay, I don't I think I have the skills to activate yet, so... Alright, let's go. Whoa! That thing changes now! Okay, it's not a death trap, so... Uh, what the hell? Hey, did something move just now? Chew. Oh. Oh wait, I can't- oh, press shift to move forward, so so at least I don't need to like run so fast. Okay, let's see where this is going to go off. Hmm? What, what is that? Holy! S swank? Dead metal swank? The actual F is. Yo, man! Rock and roll, baby! There are monsters here! That's a mystery phantom. A mystery phantom? What's that? I told you that cues make mysteries materialize. Well, if there's someone in the real world trying to interfere with the case, that person also materializes. That's a mystery phantom. Interfering with the case? Hey. Doesn't he kind of look like Swank of the Peacekeepers? If the Peacekeepers are tied up in this, then maybe this incident has something to do with Amaterasu Corporation. You... You're the culprit! Huh? Oh boy. That's right up, baby! Yeah. Uh... Is he going Kaiju? What the actual F is he doing? Uh, what? Dead on Since all the other passengers on the train are dead, you're the only one who could have done the So you're the culprit! That's the truth behind- Master, he's trying to frame you to bury the case. If you can't get past- What do I do? Should I just run a- A detective doesn't run from a mystery! You gotta defeat him! How? Defeat him? <laughs> Master, are you ready to give your life for the- Huh? Just say- I am. I, I am. Uh, what are you gonna do? What? No. We don't want to have a. St what are you doing? <laughs> oh, yeah.
are you doing? Wait, what did you put inside? What did... A blade? What? A sword? A sword? Call like... it the solution blade. It's a sword with special powers to affect things inside the mystery. Use that to boom kill the mystery phantom. Let's... Whoa, slow down. Uh, how do... I'm sure you'll figure it out eventually. The damage you take here is nothing to sniff at. It's not like an injury in the real world, but still, the more and more your mind realizes you've been hurt here, you'll wind up brain dead. It'll be game over. Time to start from the beginning again. No one wants that. So, come on, pay attention. Okay, traps and also goes in, lies in the way inside the master. I'm making a mistake and face. Death, master? Game over. <laughs> oh boy. All right, so we're gonna start this one. Doing the reasoning that matches the mystery kind of attack. Making a dodge, 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 dodge. Getting hit by a statement means taking damage. Come them. on, pay attention! If you dodge a statement in the very circle, you become daring dodge. The most daring dodge you need to bigger bonus hits. Don't you forget! Don't let any shady statements slip by. Inflamable statement gives you a chance to counter. A statement might get contradictory. Slash the... Master doesn't make mistakes, right? 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 The explosive contextation you got because of the right solution key. The key is already in the solution place this time, so fine. Slash those suspicious if you slash statements. the contradiction. Oh. Okay, so. Okay, John. No need to try this out! What am I doing? What am I doing? You're the culprit behind this case! You murdered five bastard detectives! Okay. Okay, I got there. That's the only explanation! Everyone else is dead! You're the only one who could have yes. done the crime! This one? I'll slash through this mystery! Oh, shit! <laughs> Well, it's the only thing we're gonna take, also. No, there's no way I could have done it. I wasn't conscious the whole time because I drank the drugged coffee in the dining car. It's no use. Your deduction. Master, it's time for the solution key. Okay, uh, solution key is solution key. The solution key can choose you which target of each dead match. Pick the right key and cut through the contradiction in some way. You better not be skimming I over this. this. Okay, so... Uh, testimony to the great talk to the world because... You were out the whole time! Ridiculous! You're the culprit! You knew it was drunk! Wait. That's how you avoided being knocked out! Wait, wait. You see drugs out. Okay. Uh, maybe this one just just did something. Another detective's quit drug. And you went around killing them all. You're busted. You took the laced coffee and only pretended to drink it. Yeah, no. This is the truth. Okay, so they are fixed for now. Fixed key, so. Zonga's photography footage showed me drinking the coffee. That yeah. proves I wasn't faking anything. Yeah, there's no way. Wait, what's this one? Oh, oh shit! Hey, I love this! <laughs> Come on. Hey, 
are you running? Dun, 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 dun. Did I defeat it? See? No matter how weak you are, things will turn out fine as long as I'm here. He tried to frame me as the culprit. Yeah, that's why the, the pol those Amaterasu police people just came out all all the all of a sudden, it's like so super suspicious that they just came there uh, and then just say, Oh, this there's a dead body. They're like, How they know that too soon? Guess that's what Amaterasu Corp is doing. They want to set you up and call it a day. That's why the peacekeepers barged in as soon as the train hit the station. They probably planned this. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly. And you know what? I'm doing commentary, but yeah, never mind. <laughs> so they knew what was going to happen. Then the culprit works for Amaterasu? Or someone hired by them. Either way, the peacekeepers want to hide who did it. So the reason Control Headquarters didn't respond to the emergency calls was because of Amaterasu. Probably. Now that we know what they're aiming for, we're one step closer to the truth. Let's keep this up and unriddle this mystery labyrinth so we can get to the truth. You're awfully casual about this, my love. Yeah, he's like this thing. <laughs> Ugh. I understand now that the mystery labyrinth is the case's mystery is given shape. The progress we like... made in the mystery labyrinth and solving those mysteries here. I shouldn't fast forward too much on this, so sorry, but. Oh, thanks to me. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. I've always been able to do. More importantly, you got drugged and knocked out. You are so pitiful, master. Well, it's cute me. <laughs> I don't know I got drunk. No wonder you're waddling around like a toddler. I thought I was dizzy because I've got this weird ghost thing haunting me. <laughs> Ouch. Huh? Making a pack with me won't make you dizzy. It just reduces your lifespan by a lot. What? You're kidding, right? I don't think she is. Right? Maybe. Anyway, who do you think is the culprit, Master? Um, if the drinks were drugs in the dining car, the culprit must have been on the train before anyone else. Yeah, but could... it's not oh, Malami, because so I think Malami is dead, so... around and figure out what order everyone got on board. Yeah, I think that's... The... Oh, wait a minute. You can't! You aren't taking this very seriously, are you? She's not. Booby Gabby isn't. Yeah, Booby Gabby isn't that serious, so. Okay, let's. Okay, let's keep this thing to. Because this might be taking a while. This forked in two. Which way should I go? This fork in the path is also a materialized mystery, so you should know which way to go if you saw first. Let's clarify what mystery this is exactly. Uh huh. Uh, how do you do that? Like this. Hey, nice. Wait, what are you doing, Shinigami? What are you doing? Huh? It's not, well, it's not fine. I got slice. Wait, I'm, I'm not. My head's not. Is, is my head intact? Is my head intact? Anyway, take a look. I used the blood of the truth seeker as a conduit to expose the mystery. Is the copper one of the six on the train? Is that a question? That's the mystery standing in your way. You just need to pick the right path and six on the train. It must mean the six master detectives. And if I don't think the culprit is among the six on the train, but if I think the culprit is one of the six on, hmm, which is? Uh. There's only one truth. Question related. Okay. Okay. Is culprit one of the six on the train? Man, this thing is sad. I say yes. It should be. 
So, you think the culprit is one of the six on the train, right? Yeah, it's the only possible solution. Yes. Right here! Yeah, it's the only solution I can think of. Yeah, cause somebody must have done it if it's not Yuma. Can I go through now? Oh, you got it right? No. Wait, 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 what's going on? I can't see shit. Oh, this guy's back again? Ah! S something happened! What? It's trying to bury the truth again! Oh. Smalling on the two that good map. Your deduction is wrong. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Other than the six on the train, you must have had an accomplice. Wait, you two you committed accomplice. the crime. In that case, it all fits. What do you mean it all fits? Even if you couldn't do it alone. It was possible with an accomplice. You created an alibi for yourself. Oh. Drinking the coffee and knocking yourself out. No, there's no way, there's no way. Right. If that was an accomplice, the mother would ever have in this person. Was there someone else? Uh, accomplice, there is someone. No, 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 there's not. Yeah, yeah. Well, they just know that just more than two days. So this one's this one's correct. This one's correct. Other than this train, you must have a There we go. This is the truth. There we go. Two master detectives used their abilities to prove that only six people were on the train. If it was only one person, they could have been lying or an imposter. Wrong! Your reasoning is come. Okay, what's next? Peacekeeper dead report, Operation Lock. What good does that testimony even do? Your accomplice just wasn't there when those two checked! They came aboard after that. So what if the windows don't open? While well, everyone was knocked out, you secretly stopped the train and let your partner board. Together, you committed the crime! This way, there's no contradiction. Now admit you had an accomplice already. Okay. Hey. The problem is whether or not accomplice aboard the train, right? If for someone on board the train, you have to stop somewhere. What good? Hold on. Okay. Yeah, it's a victim all, but upon the log, the train did not stop once. Oh, this one. That testimony is you. Your accomplice just was there when those two checked. Came about after that. What if the windows don't open? While everyone was knocked out, you see, stop the train and let your partner board. No, you don't. Let's do this mystery. Oh, shit. Cutie moves. 
Oh yeah. The sack of controllers operation log showed that the train never stopped. And the doors won't open unless the train stops. So it's impossible for someone to have gotten on during the trip. Oh, oh yeah. Looks like you're getting the hang of this, Master. You've learned to ruthlessly cut down any who stand in your way. You make it sound like I'm the bad guy here. Or maybe the questions themselves could be lies. No chance. A mystery labyrinth has no self-will. I can't lie or create things not based on the real-world mystery. This place is a direct manifestation of a mystery. You can always progress as long as you keep solving it. In that sense, the labyrinth is fair. It won't cheat you. I see. That's a relief. By the way, about the culprit being one of the six of you, how could the culprit commit the crime when all the other passengers besides you were dead? Yeah, I think he, one of them was just trying to make him a scapegoat. Hmm. Wait, I think I have no who is it, but I'm still thinking how he managed to pull off. The road. This is how we reach the truth. It reflects how problems are really solved. Well, I don't know if I've ever actually solved a mystery on my own. It doesn't matter. You just need to solve the mystery in front of us. Okay, he tried to cut you again. Everyone was there, so how did the couple pull it off? For Mr. Sir of the Climb played it. Say. This time you're going to truly happily take too. You just need to leave all the heavy lifting to your lovely master level guy. Yeah. Let's be a heavy help. Okay, wait, you played it. Come on! I'm still thinking here, don't you? Huh? Oh. Uh, I guess there's the opposite door. So, commence yourself after the crime. Oh, I got okay. it! Master, leave this to me. This has to be the right answer. Follow me! Hey, wait! <laughs> what? You told me not to go down! Damn it! <laughs> you told me not to go down! Oh, you drinking me like this? The culprit just plain dead. Because if they did commit suicide after the crime, they'd be dead right now. And that's no fun at all. That's your reasoning? Wait, what's this? I told you we share mind and body. The chain is proof of that. Our relationship can never be broken apart. Th that's terrible. Please, you should consider yourself lucky. You're being haunted by a cutie like me. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm so tired. I pulled you up here, so you can walk the rest of the way yourself. Oh, come on. I didn't ask you to do that. Hey, fine, let's... So you think this path will lead toward the truth, right? No idea. This is a labyrinth. It's pretty common to encounter dead ends. Whoa, watch out! Well, it, it's collapsing? You see, what did I tell you? Dead end. Don't sound so proud of yourself. You chose this path, she- Hmm, if it's a dead end, maybe the culprit wasn't just playing- I searched all five bodies and they- Oh, so the answer isn't- <sighs> You changed your mind already? Exploring all possibilities is an important part of beating a mystery labyrinth. You choose that! <laughs> oh. By the way, I did say I can guide you through the mist, but I'm not that good at solving mysteries. Yeah, now I'll say that now. I could have said that a little earlier. I 
just want to help. I like when you rely on me, Master. Anyway, what's going on in the real world while... Time has stopped on the other side. We're sort of set apart from the normal flow of time while we're here. In other words, you're still surrounded by peacekeepers. Damn it! So if we return without solving the mystery, we'll just be captured. Well, only you, Yuma, not the girl, not not Booby Gummy. So yeah. As a result, this murder case will remain unsolved and linger in people's memories as a serious crime. Naturally, this mystery labyrinth will also survive, and that creates an even bigger problem. Which is leaving a case up. The more bizarre a mystery is, the more it attracts people's interest, and the more people rack their brains about that mystery. Eventually, the mystery labyrinth would gain enough power to start affecting the real world. It would implant insidious ideas into people's minds creating more murderers, and in turn, new mystery labyrinths. Labyrinths can create endless cycles. That's why it's best to cut it off as soon as possible. It sounds way more daunting than I thought. Ah, we're finally back. The other route is to commit suicide after the crime. There's no other option, so it has to be the right it. Hmm. Well, I guess there's no other choice. Okay, let's try this. Careful. But common suicide, I'm not sure this. You should common suicide? commit suicide after the crime would mean after killing the other four the culprit killed themselves right yeah but if i steal himself how the right answer the mystery labyrinth's roots represent logical deduction if there's only one route it's the only possibility i think the only option left is the culprit off himself i just need to find that suicidal pest Last person to die in the incident. Uh, uh, let's see. Copper, you might. Copper! If the culprit committed suicide after the crime, then the last person that died should be the culprit. Yeah, that's right. It. Because they wouldn't be able to kill someone else if they off themselves already. Nice work! Come on, let's try again! Who set the fire to the dead culprit? Victor, your mom. Himself. Of course. The person who started the fires must be the culprit. All five burned to death, so the culprit who died. Come on, let's try again. Who was the last person to be burned to death? Apex, I think. Apex. This way. We, we're gonna crash. What? It's not him? Come on, let's try it okay, it's not Zangit. Zilch? One who burned the other four, then set themselves on fire. Is Zilch! Him? Wait, I thought. <laughs> but you know, setting aside the idea that the culprit was the last to die. Why would it be Detective Four Eyes? Didn't we discover his body first? According to the peacekeepers, the victims all burned to death, right? But when we first found Zilch in Car One, he wasn't burnt yet. 
If that's the case, that means he must have burned to death after that. Although, everyone else we found after him had already died from burns. Alright. Yeah, but so Zilch was stabbed to death. Then the last one who died could be Detective Morai. I think the culprit killed everyone in the opposite order of how we found their corpses. Starting from car 5, he killed them in order one by one. That so, Detective Four Eyes is without a doubt the culprit, but he committed suicide, huh? Hmm. The, the door! Oh yeah, yeah, he got stabbed to death, but the, but the report the peacekeeper says was burned, all burned, so how did they miss that? Whoa. See, I told you it would be fine. I'm such a terrific guide. Yeah. Right. Uh, that is that the end of it? That's too easy. I guess that's everything. Seems. Yeah. It's mm, what's wrong, Master? Way too I'm easy. I'm wondering if that's really all that happened. It does. You think so? Yeah. Something is. Oh, oh not again. Uh, what's going on? Conclusion: Zilti killed the other four and set the himself. Conclusion? Is this the? There's only one door. No one. Maybe this really is the end. Kind of a. Well, I hope this was a help. Wait. Mystery labyrinths contain all the mysteries of the real world case, including things like misdirection, right? Yeah. Which means this could be an attempt by the culprit to mislead us. Yeah, I think so. So, you don't think this is the truth? What makes you say that? I'm not sure, but I have a feeling the case isn't closed yet. If so, then this door could be a fake. How can we tell? If you think it's fake, why not try breaking it? It'll be bad news if you're wrong, though. And I won't tell you exactly what will happen. I don't want to affect your judgment. You've already affected my judgment. I guess the only way to find out is how do I do that? Use a solution key, I think. To, or something. You're sort to break it. Open the conclusion door. The ones that are screwed it. So it was fake. It was the culprit trying to throw us off the trail. Ow, you... Ow. <laughs> you should have just quit while you were ahead. Oh, this guy... Oh, this mystery phantom is going down, man. This guy is really going to get me on us. Okay, he's going down. He's going down. It's rare for a fake exit to appear. This mystery... Master, don't let your guard down. Make sure you drop your money before you drop dead. I promise I'll show mercy to your wallet. Yeah. yeah, but I think even we give him all his money, I don't think he would, he would, he would spare us the, the petty points. <sighs> okay, time to take this guy down. Uh, how the heck is it? I wonder if Master can Misty Fenders sometimes show us noise. These were stuck the vision and so. Are you gonna remember all of this? Sure hope you got all that down. Oh, slash noise. Okay, slash noise. Knife the cops, Malami Pops. The cops went past me, Silk! The reason is obvious. Silk is the only one who could have done the crime. He burned the four passed out victims, then set himself on fire, and died from immolation. Oh, what's immolation? If you think about it, it's an easy case to solve. Four murders, one suicide. That's the truth behind the case. It feels like they were gonna get hurt to happen. Yeah. 
Yeah, he was stabbed, he's all stabbed. The ghost rate must be silch! The reason is obvious. Zilch is the only one who could have done the crime. He burned the four passed out victims, then set himself on fire, and died from immolation. That one. Ooh. This is the truth. I think immolation means being burned to death. So. Oh, shit. No. Now that I think about it, Zilch's suicide by fire doesn't make sense. Yeah, he was burned to... Yeah, Zilch was born to like Chris, but he he's way too fast he got burnt. Because when I saw Zilch through the window, there was a knife in his chest. If he burned himself, then why would there be a knife stuck there? <laughs> you little brat! Fine! I'll answer you! Okay, let's see what we got. Let's see on the copy on the die. I mean cop. I was a knife stuck in the body! Whoa, he's gonna get it fast. Of course I know why. Yeah, he was to knock himself out. Knock himself out? What? Stabbed himself so he would pass out easy. Then set himself on fire. Dying Ouch. by fire is a painful way to go. He wanted to make it less painful. The culprit has to be Zilch! He committed suicide by self-immolation! Uh, mm -hmm. so he stabbed himself in the but no way to That's true. No, wait, wait, wait. I was uh, no, no. Coffee! I've stuck in the body? Uh, of course I know why! Yeah, it was to knock himself out. Stabbed himself so he would pass out easy. Then set himself on fire. Dying by fire is a painful way to go. He wanted to make it less pain. Oops, sorry. The culprit has to be Zilch. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I'm suicide by self immolation. Hmm? That's true. Wait, wait, wait. I think I was a knife stuck in the body. Uh, of course, I know why. Yeah, it was to knock himself out. There we go. This mystery. <laughs> yeah. I was confused to the last one, so I guess this one's got me going. He would have used the drugged coffee in the dining car. That's a much easier way to pass out. Oh, shit! Uh, so we're back here. So how do we get? I see. So they're trying to mislead you about the cause of death for Detective Four Eyes. Right. The peacekeeper said all the detectives burned to death, but Zilch's corpse in the first car is different. To me, it looked more like he was stabbed to death. So the peacekeeper's report was a lie. But they had no reason to do that. If they wanted to set you up as the culprit, they'd be raising questions by fabricating reports. Yeah, you're right. They all must have died by fire, after all. And for some reason, only Zilch appeared... I get it. So that's... But no matter how hard I think about it... Huh? Why is that? I don't have enough clues about Zilch in the... I should have investigated it more after discovering the body. But... So we're stuck right here. I don't see any other routes to break through this, but I do know there can't be a labyrinth without a goal. The truth is always behind a mystery. You wish you had investigated more, right? Huh? 
Yeah. Oh, fine. My secret weapon is so draining, I try to avoid using it as much as pop, but I just love it when you rely on me, Ma- Okay, what Bubigami wants to do next? I have a bad feeling about this. What are you trying to do? Don't worry, this is Dagger. This is Kyoto. Not her. This is my love punch. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is all for you, Master. Ten. Ready, Master? <laughs> yeah. No, wait. Ooh. Ah! Ooh. What did you get for your lariat? What did you get? Ow. What the heck? Why oh, you knock? Why oh, you knock my head for? Oh. What the heck did you do that for? Oh. Ow, oh, my brain. Ow, oh, ow, oh, ow. Oh. What's going on? I'm extracting your memory and materializing it inside the mystery labyrinth. This is my super cute special weapon. See, if you investigate here, you might. Oh, the shock from all this is making my head spin. Yeah, what's with the lariat? You don't have any time to waste, Master. This was pumped out of that slow brain of yours, so don't assume it'll stick around for long. You have until the pain in your head clears up. Now hurry. You got it. Oh, 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 yeah. oh shit. Oh, really? Oh, regards to Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, my brain. Oh, oh. Okay, okay, let's check the point. This blanket is mostly burned, but some parts near the knife are unscathed. It doesn't look like there's blood on the blanket at all. But how could that be? A blood blanket that was placed over the cost. There's no blood at all. Oh, so I can get solution keys here. You may have seen it, but forgotten. That just means you didn't think anything of it at the top, but it is in your memory, so you can use it as a... You can do that? Yay, thanks you for getting me up of Jade Bubergami. Oh, my brain. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Uh, cushion? Huh? This cut. Also, it looks like it has a hole in the middle of it. It was made by something sharp. Oh! Okay, so it is dulch. He fake his stabbing. Oh, you assing. Yeah, I'm gonna really go. Oh, it's fading. I guess the pain is starting to go away too. Looks like time's up. Well, did you find anything? Yeah, I think I see the contradiction here. Although I'm not completely sold on it. Come on, this is where you're supposed to declare I've solved the mystery. Well, if you think you're on the right track, this is not going to be nice by the way. Do what? It's for when you're stuck in your deduction. Remember what I said earlier? So even when you're stuck, there's hope, and we're gonna find it by working. Working together? How? Lay it on. Yeah, but how are we supposed to do What the heck? Actual app? Wait, what am I doing? Barrel? Hey, uh... Are we in Dugout Robot? What the hell? Meow? Push him in the hole, blood is- Hey! We're gonna expose the truth together! Hey, Art and NJE, thank you! <laughs> thank you, Nyao! Yeah. And and if you do know who I am, my name is Anderson. I'm a golden fortune VTuber from Malaysia. Yo, it's Nyao. And yes, I just dressed for vacation for this October month for the Halloween, so... You see me playing the 
my blind blind playthrough of Master Ar Master Detectives Archives Raincoat Plus. So now, uh, okay. So I'm playing on PC. So this is how it's English. Move pointer, grab solution keys, zoom in, zoom out. Uh, oh, so throw blade, cine gun. What am I supposed to do? The truth is somewhere here. Really question and knock out the letters to write on. Make a mistake and the time limit is. Somewhere inside your head, Math Master. It's time. For Don't you forget. By the way, if you feed me with solution key, I give you a hint that comes to mind. Yeah. But there was some sort of. Uh, let me read that. Okay. Hello. Yes, I came from the Master Detective Archive tag. Fortunately, the PC port of this game is much better than Nangong Report. They have the right controls. Yeah, uh, I was surprised that I can actually play this thing well. I mean, like, normally when I play Yakuza, it was like so laggy and stuff. But this one's like, yeah, it's easy to, to navigate around. Even though there's a little bit like lag stuff, but it's not like a big issue now. Okay, so... Detective Zilch's death was actually a... Uh, black. Red, red herring, red herring. Okay, uh, wait, wait, where's the ah? Uh, ah! Uh. Nice. Yeah. Ah. Uh, uh, e. That's right. Uh, 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 D. Go, go, go. Red herring. <laughs> I got a question if you're. <laughs> I got a question. She's not really the Junko, is she? But uh art is she's not related to uh Junko, right? N none whatsoever because even though that she looks like her I mean booby gummy. Whoa, uh, you should have a treasure chest. Yeah? That's right. When I saw Zilch through the window, it appeared as if the knife was stuck in his chest. But in actuality, he stabbed the blanket-wrapped cushion to make it look like he had been stabbed. That's why the blanket didn't have blood on it, even though the cushion was stabbed through. Zilch's death was a red herring. It was meant to mislead us. Yeah, it's a... Yeah, his death was, was fake. Red herring. Okay, what we got? Open sesame and it's a uh, Zilcha was just red herring. Yeah. It's a new solution key. If it was a red herring, that means he Yeah. Zilch was faking his death to fool us. That knife was just to trick me into thinking he was dead when I looked through the window. But the peacekeeper's report saying they all burned to death created a contradiction. She sounds similar, but Shinigami does not have the same voice actor as Junko. Okay, got good. <laughs> Okay, yeah. No, because I thought that Boobigami here. Yes, I'm gonna nickname Shinigami as Boobigami in this form. As as look like Junko because of a face expression. But then again, that yeah, I thought that she just got she got she died and she reincarnated into a, a dead god. But yeah, I don't think this is not possible. Although. I feel like it's here, Yuma from somewhere, but maybe I'll check it later. So the culprit was just plain dead. It's exactly what I said. Although, I gotta be honest with you. This, this chapter is damn long for, for a tutorial. Is this the problem or is this something else I'm gonna see? In out. a roundabout way, yes. Which means that dead end in the abyss could have a new path now. Let's hurry back! Am I going to walk there? Oh god. Uh, is that? Okay, this is the tr thing that I came back from there. The tutorial is about as long as the whole chapter is slightly shorter. <laughs> Seriously? Uh, are you sure this is good? This is. Booby, uh, Shinigami, are you sure this is gonna work? What's wrong? 
it's too much of a hassle to go all the way back there. I don't want to walk anymore. I thought you can float. Well, some guy you are. Besides, you're not even walking. Oh, yeah, you can float. Effort and hard work. I want to head back. Oh, I know. I have a convenient transportation method thanks to my awesomeness. It lets us go anywhere you've been before. Now is the perfect time to use it. Okay. What's this? Zoom! You be. Uh, what? Uh. What? Zoom! Uh. What? Evie? A mysterious force is blocking you from casting this spell. <laughs> what the hell is that? What the? That spell will let you escape from within a labyrinth, but you can't use it inside the mystery labyrinth. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> anyway, time to pick again. Sh sure. <laughs> what? What's this one? Zoom? <laughs> okay, um... What does that actually reference from? <laughs> Wait, I think the one is called Evac. Wait, yeah, I don't understand the part of the next play. Uh, yeah, I cannot say this is Zoom. I thought it's Zoom to think, but... Eva I thought Evac could wait for something, but... You wanna... Zoom. Okay, we're back here. Oh. See? Super easy. I really need to check back what the heck is that. I understand the first one is zoom, because so I thought like, is it zoom or e oh, so I just do that like what the hell? Uh, anyways. Okay, so be easy. Yeah, sure. But unfortunately using it does drain a little bit. Drain a little bit of what? Do you have MP or something? Your lifespan. What? <laughs> My lifespan? Again? Oh, uh, am I gonna die just like in the, the, the note something? Oh. So we passed through how did the culprit pull it off junction and have taken the play dead turn again. Now that we have a new solution key, I'm sure we can. Let's give it a try. What proof did this are important to solve? What did the copy play did? We're gonna expose the truth together. All right. Okay, Fluffy I mean, Let's try this. Use solution key. Zilch cops. Yeah, the red herring. Okay, it's time to slash you. Zilch was trying to trick us into thinking he'd killed himself. Uh, Zilch. I thought I thought I knew you better. The fact that he was he was the smart, the brains of the operation. He was the leader type, but he's more like he's a cult, but like. Bridge. Uh, Oh, okay. See, didn't I say the path would appear? It's all because we found the right deductive clue to break. I'm so amazed. Well, maybe later. Okay. We opened the play dead route thanks to the corpse red herring solution key. So, yeah, her earlier, her earlier theory was correct. It's just that. So Zilch really faked his death to mislead us. If so, he is absolutely the culprit. Now, we just need to prove it. But even if the mystery labyrinth is fair when it comes to solving mysteries, the r what if Amaterasu Corp decides to protect the culprit, even if we prove who really did it? Oh, you're worried they'll just cover it up? No need to worry about that. Okay, huh? and why is that? that? Let's save the fun for later. 
Mobigami, what the what's happened if we solve this thing? Uh, uh, the ground! Run, 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 run. run Why? Wasn't this the right route? Maybe the logic still has some holes in it. You now say that now, now? Oh boy. And it's got okay, I have to look. Master, you better concentrate! Hey, 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 don't! What the heck? You don't need to strangle me for that. Oh, what was the woman saw doing the shadow? Yes! Yeah, this is what he saw. Uh, uh, when I saw Zilch through the window, he was faking his death with a knife to the cushion. That was definitely. Yeah, that's the real Zilch. There's no way he can be. Placing a body. What was the burn cops? Was the burn cop actually zilch? No! Yeah, it was someone else. The corpse I investigated was real. It just wasn't Zilch's corpse. Oh, oh! It's Apex's body! Yeah, that's why there was a that was a mark there. That was In other words, Zilch swapped himself out for a real corpse. Yeah, that's why the body was corpse was too good. Zilch swapped the first place in uh, before you mentioned up here. Before the case, also the case is fucking wild. The oh. corpse was switched right before I broke the infirmary window to open the lock. The blazing fire had filled the room with smoke, so I couldn't make anything out through the wind. Zilch used that smoke as cover to switch himself with a dead body. Yeah, but the heat. But wait, then how the hell do we find that fifth the body in the fifth garden? Wait, how the hell did he transport Apex's body in the fifth then? If you play Danganronpa games, I will compare to the Strawberry House of in Danganronpa Two. Oh god, that one! You mean you mean the fun house there where? You mean that fun house that's the time where uh uh what's the name of the co chick? That uh, ultimate coach again who got killed, something like that. The I saw chapter, yeah, oh yeah. The, that one's hard to. Gundam kill coach, yeah. Yeah, that I one got. Get it. The fire wasn't only there to show he died from burning, it was also a smoke screen to swap out the corpse. Right. In the smoke, he switched places with a corpse he had hit. Uh, what the heck? Wait, what's going on? <laughs> what the the TV wall? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually know about one, two, three, so you can spawn me on that thing. But and only this one, I'm not sure. To deduce where the corpse was hidden. Because the room was filled with smoke. He needed to put the body somewhere he could access immediately. Where are you thinking? If he needed to get to the body as quickly as possible, only one place makes sense. Uh, oh yeah! Spotted selection. Yeah, I think I know where. That place is suspicious. <laughs> you the on slice. Better search every master doesn't yeah. make mistakes. Right? Right? Yeah, right. I think I know where. Uh, under the bit. Here. That's the only place I have. That's it. The burnt corpse was hidden right there. It was under the bed. Uh, what? Uh, hey, hey, stop licking me. Uh, oh, what the heck? Uh, where this Miss Phantom stick? Okay, wait to get the TV back. <laughs> Why? Come back! Jeez, one after another. This is really bad for my heart. You think? We're not done yet. Hurry, let's speed it up. Shinigami, you might be fine because you're floating around, but this is really tough for me. Yeah, this is his first time. Come on, give me him. I can't believe it. 
he had the corpse hidden under the blanket? Yeah. It's the only possible location. There's no way they can just... So, that four-eyed detective was sleeping next to a dead body. Yeah, quite disturbing if I'm thinking about that. I'm so jealous! I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Me too. Yeah, when I think about it... Ugh, what the actual F, Zilch? Yes? Okay. Zilch was lying in bed with the corpse. He got up once the smoke screen was ready. He took the corpse out from under the blanket, pulled the knife out of the cushion, and stabbed it. Ugh. That way, even after he switched with the corpse, he could just hide to avoid me. Where did Detective Four Eyes hide after that? It must have been someplace with easy access. Which must mean... Under the bed, he could have quickly hid there. The funny part is that this guy can just. No, I think maybe he. Wait, wait, wait. if he does that, I... I'm surprised that Zilch manages to, you know, not die from the, <laughs> the smoke. I mean, there's a lot of smoke that you got. If you know what I mean, now. And uh, it is so thick that that he has to hide under the bed. So. Does he need a gas mask for this? <laughs> Which means, if you checked under the bed at the time, you would have caught that four-eyed idiot. But back then, I was in such a hurry to warn the other master detectives. I'm sure he calculated all that too. He knew I'd panic. Maybe he was planning to take advantage of you from the very beginning, and that's why he let you live. Yeah. I think Zilch was the one who peeked into the restroom while I was sleeping there. I was supposed to be sleeping in the infirmary. So he must have planned to move me before committing the crimes. I passed out in the restroom, but that didn't hinder his plans, so he went with it. Speaking of which, wasn't it Detective Four Eyes who told you to go to the first car? Yeah, he must have planned to make me witness everything and set me up as the culprit. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I'm starting to... Not bad, Master. Maybe you were a big shot detective before you lost your memory. No. If I really was a great detective, I would have caught the culprit in the infirmary before any of this happened. Uh, yeah, and I'm still... And I'm... And if I had known about that, I would have dated with Gucci by it. Now... Aw, oh, but you get me about it! Uh, please... Uh, you're... D you know what? Let's move on. I guess so. By the way, where did he get the corpse he was hiding in the blanket? That corpse? Well... Yeah, I'm guessing it's Apex, but... Ah! Again! I, I won't let you go any... <laughs> Getting in our way again. If you stand against my ruthless master, he'll chop you up and stir-fry you with veggies for dinner. What? I'm not! <laughs> How? <laughs> now, like, very curious of this thing now. Okay. <laughs> oh. Master, I'm lending you a hand from here on out. I'll assist you when you're in a pit. Huh? Assist? How? It's the rule of the mystery labyrinth to assist whoever you're accompanying. Now let's go, master. Looks like you might not need assist. Usable all, when the recover gun is at max. This could be the clue. It's just when the botanist is activated, a mystery phantom is if I won't inflict damage. Oh, if, if I'm in a pinch or something. Okay, Pucci's calls, FX calls, Zangi's calls. I will. Wait, wait, I think I know. Because this is the only one with the... This is the only one with the... Let you pass! Enough of your nonsense! You think he swapped with a corpse? It'd be 
be impossible to switch like that. Someone who can replace Silt would need to be the same size as him. Yeah, we got. He didn't have a bag that could carry a corpse. It would have been out at the station. It'd be impossible to get it on board. There was no corpse to replace anyway. Yes, there is. This is the truth. Shit. There's no need to bring an extra corpse for the swap. He just needed to reuse a dead body on the train. It's Aphex's body from the fifth car. He and Zilch are nearly the same height, and both have stab wounds in their chests. So the corpse that was switched was Aphex's. Ah, damn it! How could someone like you find the truth? Ah. No! Oh, oh, no! 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 Oh. The did that guy just explode? <laughs> now we don't have to fight anymore. Even if that's true, don't let your guard down. The mystery labyrinth isn't over yet. Uh, all right. Yeah, I have a feeling this might be another mystery phantom if if Zilt is the culprit. But he is a culprit. But wow, who would have thought that short-tempered idiot would be used for a body swap? Uh, yeah, if it's not Apex, this is if Apex is the culprit, that means that means he will use Zilt's body. But so it's Zilt, but thinking back, the reason the corpses in the first and fifth cars were burnt was to switch them out. But the corpse was so badly burned that I couldn't tell it was Aphex. That must be what the necklace was for, so I could identify him. Well, reusing a corpse is rather environmentally friendly of the culprit, don't you think? He totally went green. <laughs> What's that gotta do? Yeah. I mean, we gotta recycle everything in our day and age, so. You gotta get the most value out of corpses too, you know? Hmm. Is that even the to that booby gummy? Bum bum. You! Wait, I am not the culprit. I am a victim who was already killed. So, leave me alone! You're alive, Dad, so. Hey, he ran away! After him, Master! <sighs> it, yeah. Hey. You said the body in the first car's infirmary wasn't me. But uh -oh. Apex? But you went to car five after car one and discovered his corpse there. How was the corpse transported from car one to car okay, five? Okay, I'm running, so. That'd require moving past you. That's right, if he slipped past us, when did that happen? Oh. Yeah, this is way dangerous to. Hey, you get back here. Okay, end of the line. Uh, why am I not moving? What the actual? Bizarre. Oh, where do we go? Left or right? Where did he run off to? 
Wait, what is Another this? Mystery that when moving the solved. When moving the body from the car one to car five, the car the car will move through the train. Did not no. No, he doesn't need to move. Yeah, he, he doesn't. He's gone outside the train instead of through it. He could have passed us. No, that's impossible. Yeah, but I see the fire hydrant was there, so he must have done impossible. something. Impossible. 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 Oh no. Impossible. 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 Oh, now you're becoming a dead metal. Okay, dead metal fox right now. Zilch turned into a mystery phantom! Get him, Master! Boom kill him until there's only a sorry slab of flesh left! Uh, you seem way too excited for this, booby gummy. Black on shaking, cushion before. If they didn't pass through the train, do you think a corpse was brought in from outside? The windows are all locked shut. The doors locked when the train is moving. We know the train never stopped once. If the windows and doors are shut, there's no way to get out while the train is moving. Oh, 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 oh. No issues occur during the train's operation. Even if you could get out, a body could not get in. Even the cops who was carrying out the train because you don't know how you can move. Well. We're getting close to Tristan. If they didn't. Okay, uh, let's see. No, Black is chickening. So, okay, maybe it's something to do with that when we move at him. So let's try this one. Pass through the train. You think the corpse was brought in from outside? The windows are all locked shut. This? Okay. Mm -hmm. When that wicks, uh, yeah, that's not right. If they didn't pass through the train, you think the corpse was brought in from outside? The windows are all locked shut. Yeah, this is not right. The doors lock when the train is moving. We know the train never stopped once. If the windows and doors are shut, there's no way to get out while the train is moving. No issues occur during the train's operation. Wait, that's this one. Oh, there is. No issues. Out. No, there was something strange. The blackout and shaking that happened when I was in car two and car... Uh, when the blackout occurred and the shaking started, I'm certain something else happened in the train. Maybe it has something to do with the mystery of the moving corpse. <laughs> Don't be stupid. So what if there was a little blackout and some gentle swaying? Yeah, there's no gentle about it. It's a huge shaking out. Okay, Foxy Boy, let's just want to play the Bloodless Blanket back on the console soon. Forget the shaking and the blackout. They were nothing but coincidences. The blackout was just a bad contact. The shaking was the tunnel air pressure. There's nothing odd about that. It's all just a coincidence. It's impossible to include that in a criminal plot. Ouch. Come on. There's such a cluttering thing. Mm -hmm. There's no place to come, come, and Forget the shaking and the blackout. No. Uh. It couldn't be this. It couldn't be this. This! Back up, come. They were nothing but coincidences. The blackout was just a bad contact. 
The shaking was the tunnel air pressure. There's nothing odd about that. It's all just a coincidence. It's impossible to include that in a criminal plot. Come on. No. Wait, is that the only one? Forget the shaking and the blackout. They were nothing but coincidences. The blackout was just a bad contact. No, you don't. Flash through this mystery. Okay, that's the only one. Okay, there's only one, so I didn't know there was a lot. No, the blackout didn't occur because of a connection failure. It was due to the main control system failing and switching to the backup control system. The control system automatically manages the electric with the demon train. When the main control system fails, it switches the backup system after one second. The blackout occurred during that one second when the system switched over. Thing is a good phantom? Yes? After him! You gotta keep solving the mystery and boom kill that mystery! But uh, hey! Yeah, now they Master, you may know the cause of the blackout, but what does that have to do with how the corpse was moved? The failed main control system was in car one, where the body swap occurred. If so, then the main control system's failure must have something to do with moving the corpse. So maybe the culprit broke the main control system. He must have attempted to stop the train to bring in the corpse from the outside. Yeah, but the train is still moving. Oh, maybe but I... the train never stopped. Yeah, it never stopped. The operation log confirms the train was moving the entire time. So I don't think he broke the system to bring the corpse in. Then why did the main control system fail? Hmm... It must have something to do with moving the body. But you're unsure exactly how. I knew it! A mystery is blocking you! You get to me sooner! Ouch. Anything blocking you in here is also a mystery. So let Okay, not again, not again. Ouch! The main control was lost when Calvin was... So this is the question we're facing right now. The main control system must have failed because some... If that's true, what exa... If it's related to the body being... Hmm... Master's expression is so... Well, as his mentor, I... The main control... Oh yeah! Why did the train shake like that? There was a blackout right before entry... But the culprit didn't destroy it, so... The... Oh, uh, wasn't there some shaking right... Ah, I don't get it. That's right. The train shook right before the blackout. We still don't know what caused that to happen. Whatever it was, it was... It caused the main control system to fail and resulted in a black... If it had something to do with moving a body... Ooh, did I give you the assistance? That it's time to combine our powers and... Let's go, Master! Lay it all! Wait. Wait, does it... The train got detached? Are oh, oh, oh. Yep. Yep, it's... Go, go, go! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great! That's right! It's detached, it's detached. It's, uh... <laughs> Talking about that barrels, yeah. The main control system was lost when the car was detached. <laughs> I thought the two letters was combined together, but <laughs> my bad. Now, 
Okay, that one got me good. I thought it was... Could it be that the first car was separated from the train? Yeah, I was say separated, but detached I think is quite huh? separated. Separated? What? Serious? Yeah. The reason why the main control system failed was the first car was cut off from the rest of the train we were riding in. Let's keep the Yeah. I actually boosted the thing and just nearly put tested, but um master, I don't really get it. What do you mean the first car was cut off? The shaking happened just before the blackout, right? Huh? Did it just shake? What was that? At that time, the first car was disconnected from the rest of the arm. As a result, the main control system failed, and after a brief blackout, it switched to the backup. I wasn't going to say separated, but when this, when I shoot D, I was like, oh, that's D. Then he got it right, but if he bounced back, that means it has separated, so... But why cut off the first car? Why go through all that trouble? Of course, to move the body in the train car. Yeah, that's... Again? Ah! There it is again! It's bigger... How much longer will this keep? Now is not the time to be suffocating! You pulling my... Jane! Oh, what is it this time? Again? Uh, the body was transported along with the. We need to resolve the mystery at hand. The body was transported along with the entire car, car, car. Even that the first car was cut off, right? Seems like you play it off. Yeah. Okay, here we go again. Yeah, it's entire car, car, car. C. Nice. A. That's right. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Nice. Ha. Wee. <laughs> this is modding balls. Eh, got the. Hi. That's right. He transported the corpse using the entire first car. That's why the first car was disconnected. Yeah. Yeah. If it, that was clever. That was clever. The f yeah, I noticed that, that the fire hydrant was at the same position. So it means that he he detached or separated the whatever you call that thing. He moved the car one to to car 5 or something like that. Oh. Transported the corpse? With the entire car? Nonsense! Oh, now you become a Tengu! Wow! Oh, this guy can transform into the... The first car is at the front of the train. Aphex's corpse was in the fifth car. In the... Even if you detach the front car, how do you move it all the way to the rear? No, there is a way, there is a way. Uh, um... You remember the tunnel? Don't be scared. G calm down. How could you swap? If I can answer that, how did it happen? That reminds me. Master, earlier, blackout only happened once. Yeah, it's doing the tunnel. Yeah, it definitely... The first time was when the train car was disconnected. Something happened to the train then, too. There's no point thinking about it. Master, here it comes! Your deductions aren't worth a damn because they're all wrong from the very beginning. Oh, you're going down, Mr. Tango Man. Well, Bird, Fox Man, whatever you call that thing, but. 
You don't have a tall king, but okay, but okay. Red herring, rough map, dissolvent. Okay. Yeah, I think I might. Okay, this might. Yeah, if they were asking about about how they move the thing, this thing's it's either those two. So this one, I definitely sure is not. So I should say wrong map. So it shook twice near the tunnel. Right up it. You mean the train car was separated? Reconnected? Ouch. Why would that even matter? Even if you managed to separate car one, how could it be moved to the rear? The train was always running on the same tracks. There's no way to shuffle the train cars around. Yes, there is. This is the truth. Yes, there is. No. At that time, not all the cars were moving on the same track. The track that the Amaterasu Express was on separated into double tracks right before entering the tunnel. So by taking advantage of the double tracks, it's possible to switch out the train car. Yo, Ahoy becomes a lightning right now. Oh, shit. The first time the train shook was before entering the tunnel, which was caused by car one separating. After that, the separated car one entered the other track, while the rest of the train proceeded on the main track. Yeah, that's the how- two tracks rejoin after the tunnel. That's where car one connected to the end of the train. Wait. Oh, oh, ah, that's why it, that's why, that's why the Malami says that car I door, door was, was broken. There was no car five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is when the I train shook for the second yeah, time. Yeah, but. You're right. First car moved all the way to the back. Yeah, but. Oh, shit. Normally, it's impossible for a single train car to function why is she on fighting? Its own. But the Amaterasu Express is special. The control system. But all train cars on the train have motors that run. But if each train car yeah. can operate autonomously, then car one can function on its own. Yeah, it moves on its own like that. Doesn't that solve everything? No, that's crazy. Huh? Using your method to rearrange the train cars would connect the first car to the end which would leave it behind the fifth car. In other words, it becomes the sixth car, but that doesn't exist. No, because there was four cars to begin with. So, you're telling me you found Apex's corpse in the non-existent sixth car? Oh, you're right. Did no, you no, no, it? no. You're the one who... No, there is no, an explanation. I'm not wrong. I will prove it to you. Okay, here we go again. Yeah, I think I know. Cause... Yeah, this one's clever. This one was clever. Let's work together. Go, go, go. Go. There we go. From the start, the Amateur also was a four car train. Yeah. That's why 4, four 5 was. That's I was wondering how did it manage to open? It means it was a four card to begin with. Oh, oh you shrunk me. Uh -oh. Maybe the Amaterasu Express doesn't have five cars. What if there were only four cars to begin with? If that's the case, then to me, car one could be made to look like car five. <laughs> uh, oops. Huh? So there weren't cars the whole time, but instead, four? Yeah, that's a thing. That's why Melanie said the fifth car's door was broken while we were in transit. Right. But you can't access the fifth car, the one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. So, it wasn't broken. 
the fourth car was actually the farthest one back from the get-go? Yeah. I'm sure the real fifth car was left behind at the station when we departed. So the train took off with only four cars. There was another car one at our destination. If it connected upon arrival, then the train would have five cars again. So the car one where I was knocked out became the fifth car at the end of the line. Yeah. And when I was questioned by the peacekeepers, the car one there... Yeah, that was... That was a decoy. That one... The car one was actually... The car one that in Kanai Station was a decoy. Was another car prepared at the station specifically for this plot? The real car one was waiting at the station's platform, then all the peacekeepers there would have noticed it. So they were all in on it. Yeah, or you can assume that the peacekeepers themselves were the ones who prepared the other car one. Yeah, I bet that Sw Swang was like, Okay guys, put the car there, so when the boy comes out, we all jump into him. Also, do we need to jump? I I'm doing it right, so... Otherwise, I have your money for that! If there was another car one, then there would be something that sets it apart from the original car one. For example, the way the window glass was broken in the infirmary would be different from how I broke it. You mean when you use the fire extinguisher to smash the infirmary's window so they knew you would do that? That's how they were able to imitate it in the new car one? Yeah, I think I was set up to reach for that fire extinguisher. The fire extinguisher was left in a conspicuous spot in the hallway. They wanted me to use it to break the window. And that's how they pulled off swapping the first and fifth cars while in transit. It was all a trap to set me up as the culprit. Isn't that right, Zilch? <laughs> oh, you're running again? That was a clever one. That was a clever one. That was a pretty solid deduction. <laughs> Very impressive. Of me for seeing your potential. It's so strange. It doesn't feel like I'm learning this stuff. More like I'm remembering it. Maybe I was even a high-ranking detective in the WDO. No time for bragging. You still gotta catch him. Uh, what the heck right. is that? Is this? No. Everything feels. This is just the calm before the storm. You know, making the first car look like the fifth was a really big trick to pull off. I'm surprised the train cars could disconnect and reconnect so smoothly. The train's automatic operating system must have had it programmed before we departed. Even the trick with the swapping train car? Probably. It had to have been done automatically. Well, it'd be easy for Amaterasu. They own the train. That's what I'm worried about. Even if I obtain the truth here, won't they just ignore what I say and arrest me anyway? I keep telling you not to worry about it. As long as you have the truth, the culprit can't escape. Yeah, but how is that working? Why are you so sure of that? I like to question that myself too. You built a fucking fortress. What is this? like a fort to me. With this kind of protection, I bet the truth is in there for sure. So the truth... You can't have the truth. It's impossible to destroy this fortress. Just give up and leave! And get myself arrested? No way. Whenever a culprit takes a last stand like this, 
You know we're just a step away from unriddling this labyrinth. Master, time to show him how dangerous you really are. After all, he did try to set you up. I'm not worried about that right now. We gotta do this. <laughs> it's boom kill time! Yeah, but how are we going to break that damn fortress? A cannon? <laughs> oh, okay, I'm... What am I doing? What am I doing? What the hell am I doing? Go on, Shinigami! Shinigami's tutorial corner! The Wolfgang last time on Phantom, tear down all locks together in this mega-sized guard. Got great onset destroyer. Me. Dun, 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 dun. The final showdown, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, that's the way with the gigantic. Oh, that's with the gigantic kick. That's missing input would take damage. I won't let you have the truth. Destroy the huge wall of attack. Go away! You've been scrapped! Jump over the taunts. Easy, watch out. Okay. Your deduction is wrong. Okay. It has been. No way. No. Don't come near me. Don't come any closer. Stop it. Switching the first and fifth parts is just your imagination. It's a completely baseless lie. There's no evidence they ever swapped. Destroy the wall with the solution key. Uh, Yo, check, check. There are taps. Come on, hurry up and decide. Use the solution key to smash the wall, Master. The sergeant plays. Tofu, copy, Dinah. Play. You're wrong. Huh? Come on. Yep. Yep. No, there are traces of a swap. The warp plate from Car Five. The reason that plate was burned so thoroughly is because originally it said Car 1. Left as it was, it would have messed up your plot to make Car 1 look like Car 5. That's why you made extra sure it was burned beyond recognition. Okay. Okay. To disguise it? No! I yes. didn't do that! Stop it! Stop! No, no, no. Go away! Get away from me! Wait! Get away! It just happened to be easily burned! But with it burned, you have no way of knowing what number car it was! So there's nothing backing up your deduction. You have no hard evidence proving that location was the first car. Oh yes, we do. Is that a solution? Looks like we need another solution key to boom kill him. Knife. Good luck, master. Yeah, the blood stain. There is proof. The blood stain on the inner lock of the infirmary in car five. The culprit probably didn't notice it, but I remember. It's my blood. What? Oh. What? Yeah, he didn't. When I was know. trying to get into the infirmary in car one, I cut my finger on the glass. 
When I reached through to unlock the latch, I must have gotten blood, but that blood stain would have been hidden while the interlock was open. That's probably why the culprit missed it. Yeah, and with all the smoke there, I don't think he noticed it now. My blood, which was left behind in car one, was found in car five. This proves that someone pulled off the car switching trick. This is the truth of the case. Timber! I'm not done yet. What? Are you still going? Let us both kill you all. If car one became car five, then where did the culprit supposedly hiding in the infirmary? You had to have checked the fifth car, but the culprit wasn't there. Oh, we're so close, and now you. Oh yeah, if he's not there. Oh, he could be one of the controls. That... The culprit must have been hiding somewhere in the fifth car. Yeah. It's not train door. It would be restroom. I don't think so because we check. Employee, there's no way. Connected door, there's no way. Main control A. Here. was hiding inside the main control room, which was locked shut the entire time. I didn't have the key, so I could never have gotten in. I bet the culprit moved there from the infirmary while car one was running on the second track. If the train's management company, Amaterasu Corporation, was involved, the and then they put in a blind spot I couldn't see from the window. That's how they got past me. No, it's not me. I'm not. Great detective work! I call that a critical hit! He seems like all that's left is to finish him off! Finish oh. him off? Uh, how do I do that? Shove all your evidence into the solution plane and slash as hard as you can! Okay, how do you do that? Deduction announcement. Oh, this is more like the one in Danganronpa style now. Okay. Time to expose this crime. The cheeks and everything. The deduction announcement is where the truth made it clear. I think all the deduction. Oh, this is more like. Yeah, this is more like closing argument from from Danganronpa series. So I think I probably know how this thing works out now. So I think I'm probably going to finish up the. The prologue of the item of this thing, but I think it's really long now. Let's see. Okay, this one. Why is your shirt? Okay, why is your shirt? Yeah, this guy's also cool. Like Okay, so I think I might have got this. Apex's body? Ow, 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 okay. Okay, that's not 
All right. Oh, knife and cushion. Yeah, this guy was under the bed. <laughs> this guy looks so menacingly like. Okay, he's gone. He's gone. Okay, so I think the black is just on top of this. Yep. Then he goes switch the team. You know what? Yeah. He won this team. Oh, wait, then he retached the team. That's one you take eight passes on it. Yep. Oops, I. Mystery Unravel. Tarasu Express, which was on its way to Kanai Ward. I rushed onto the train as it was about to depart. At that time, the train was made up of five cars. I'm going to be late! I'm going to be late! Oh, because you were fast asleep in the Lost and Found, Master. If you kept snoozing, the case would never be solved. When the train started moving, it was only four cars long. The fifth and Bob. final one was left at the station. And so, the culprit scheme had already begun. I'm surprised that the chain announcement is like, uh, Excuse me, you left one car there! Unfortunately, I think this is Amaterasu, so they, 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 they think they, they were in on it, so yeah. Meaning Amaterasu Corporation was involved from the get-go. On the train, the master detectives were gathered together in car two. That was the dining car. And the culprit had already mixed a knockout do, 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 drug do, do, do. into every drink there. Don't mind me, uh, I'm just making coffee for everybody. Don't mind me. Um, put this... I like that the culprit who was the first person on the train so they could prepare in advance and wait for everybody else. Do, 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 do. I felt unwell. Melanie went to the trouble okay, of pouring me a coffee. Okay, here's your coffee for you. But you might after be drinking it, I started to feel drowsy. I was hearing things at the time and thought that I might be seriously ill. But it was actually the drug. Oh, this thing you thought yours truly was responsible? Sticks and stones won't do much to a dead guy, but slander stings! No, I thought it was Melanie. Corporate sent me off to car one in order to find me as the killer. I'm sure the culprit didn't expect you to get sick, Master, but... Since you look like a super easy target, they probably changed their plan and went after you instead. Hmm... A new egg man, is it, eh? Hmm. Well, time to change the plans. Once I left, the other Master Detectives must have fallen asleep. Because of the drugged drinks. The culprit then burned everyone to death. Yeah. Setting all those master tactics on fire. On purpose. What a psycho. This was when the culprit put their plan to frame me into motion. Man, it puts. I know the idea of. You didn't eat a lot, but damn your shavy. First, they carried Aphex's charred corpse to the infirmary in car one. The very first body we found. Then they deliberately okay. left a fire extinguisher right. near the restroom I was sleeping in. 
put this thing here, and done. This was done to prompt me into smashing the door later. Why have someone get inside? Somehow? Wait, you don't have cat. Yet. Or else Wait, you don't have... find the body. Wait, you don't have fox yet. You... Next, the culprit What's... entered the infirmary, locked the door, and laid down on the bed with Apex's charred corpse. Jumping into bed with a charred corpse, and here I thought chivalry was dead. Okay. Uh, this is the first time I tried to do this, but... What a gentleman! I'm actually a little jealous. <laughs> a knife and cushion okay. created the red horn. Then... I have a way to pretend to be dead. Furthermore, the culprit set okay, the ring on fire just on as fire. I was waking up. I don't know how long is this going to burn, because if he's not awake, I'll be dead right now. While you were sleeping, I felt someone come into the restroom. Uh, they must have seen me then and timed it. When I woke up in the restroom and went into the hallway, car one was beginning to fill with smoke. With a knife lodged in his chest. But it didn't take long for the smoke to obscure everything. That was when the culprit took out Aphex's burnt corpse, switched places with it, and waited for me to enter the room while hiding beneath the bed. It's just like a magic trick! Switching places under a veil of smoke! Meanwhile, I found the fire extinguisher on the floor. Smash the window. Unlock the room and went inside. Just like the copper plan. Yeah. But and that's why they left the fire extinguisher there in the first place. Yeah, but what he thing he didn't plan on was the blood on his hand. After the smoke cleared, I found Zelch's body burnt to a crisp. At least, that's what I thought. The charred corpse was actually Apex. The culprit had me completely fooled. Why they picked the time consuming method of roasting someone to death. Yep. Plus, the body was about the right size. I bolted out of car one after That's seeing the right corpse. Boy. The culprit That's was right, under boy. the bed at that time. Run. Yes. Just this plan. They probably laughed at you from there, watching everything unfold like they planned. Good thing I got that practice to breathe on the smoke. I went on to discover the charred corpses of the other master detectives. Around that time, the culprit came out from under the bed and went to the main control room in car one. Controlling the train from there, they detached car one. Remember this, and this, and done. That caused the blackout and shaking, and the power source was switched over to the backup system. Bomb bomb. So the train shook. Oh, what the hell was there not to the Take a guess. <laughs> what? What's that gonna do with it, Jinigami now? While the detached car one was running on a separate track, the culprit went to work. Okay, just to make sure that this chart cost does Good, good, good. Okay. <laughs> Preparing to disguise car one as car five. <laughs> Not important, booby gummy. First, Apex's corpse was carried to the and portal. Carrying him is a long walk. Removed earlier was placed back on. Then yeah. Oh wait, I need to take glasses. Wait. Burned. Oh wait, I'm over by that. Yep. Genius. Then nobody can tell that this is car one and two and car five. Boom. With everything in place. The culprit went into the main control room, locked the door, and okay. waited for the train cars to reconnect. Okay, now, now to waste there, nobody sees me. Not even that, that uneasy, that pathetic grunt. And this time, the culprit was riding in car one on the other track, right? Yeah, the train, which was only cars two, three, and four at the time, remained on course. Since we were in a tunnel, I didn't even realize car one was moving alongside us. Yeah. 
the train we were on went through the tunnel with only three cars. When it came out of the tunnel, the car with the culprit in it attached to car four. Now behind car four, that car became car five. Yep. It was four cars. The swap was pre-programmed into the train's automatic operating system, right? Technology sure is convenient. Yep, it is convenient now. Riding in car one, attached it to the back of car four. That caused more shaking, but there was no blackout this time because the power supply stayed the same. Additional shaking occurred inside my blouse, but the power stayed on. <laughs> You're still on that? After that, I mistook car one for car five and walked right in. So much, I didn't even notice the door I had smashed when I was in car one before. I figured there'd been some kind of brawl. But that was part of the culprit's plan, wasn't it? Also, no one would realize it was actually car one. When I found the corpse, I deduced that it was Aphex from the necklace it had on. But I was just rediscovering the same charred corpse from car one. The disguised corpse and the car switch completely fooled me. Yeah, because of because of, he made one mistake that he stabbed the thing. Is it a dead body? Oh, this is a disturbingly brilliant idea. When the train arrived in Kanayor, it's connected to a different, prearranged car one. And with that, the train once again had five cars. Detaching. What a stupid, crazy, elaborate trick! Peacekeepers were lying in wait at the station. As the sole survivor, yeah! I was set up as the one responsible for the murders. And Amaterasu was in on it! Okay, I'm gonna say nobody's here. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Milch Alexander! It was you! Oh, hi. Okay, let's see. Majima. That bastard needs something to get you killing me, that quad killing. Yeah, <laughs> four killings. Uh, even one person is he, he wants to kill. This is the truth I've uncovered. No. Uh, this guy, this guy, this homicide of maniac. Is what's this? His soul? It's the truth. It's oh, the soul of the true culprit who made this mystery labyrinth. The soul of the true culprit? Wait, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> now it's time for the main event! Here we go! It's my time to shine! Oh, are you gonna reap it or something? Uh... Like... Wait, what, what are you doing? The heck? Surging bloodlust. Overflowing despair. The brilliant soul of Shinigami shall expunge this cursed case. Death to all the horrible. Through into the final mystery labyrinth. Whoa.
Meanwhile, outside. <laughs> Execution! <laughs> it's punishment time! Oh, I, I think Monokuma will just come out and say, It's punishment! Oh, wait, that, that is more labor! <laughs> I prefer my own execution. Yeah. Swan's grill. Swan was a trivial worth money on his upper business call. A grill made of gold. <sighs> so it's a, so it's just a, it's, so it's just like how the boxes wear that thing. And when I mean boxes, I mean those kind of people who do boxing, the one they wear the thing on the, the teeth to make sure they don't, that the teeth got broken off. And uh -huh. uh, we are back We're in real time. Back? Uh, what are you talking about now? Your spirit shouldn't be broken. Uh, yeah. The peacekeepers will take care of you. We have all the time in the world. Uh, huh? Uh, wait. <laughs> are we not done? <laughs> Shinigami! Where are you? Nothing here's changed. What's going up? Shinigami? Are you listening? Get him! Wait! I know who the cop- What? It's Zilch! He's still al- What are you talking about? He's already dead! Huh? But- Wait, you're sweating bullets, man. Shut up! This is not up for discussion! Yeah, what a waste of time! Take him away! Shinigami! Where did you go? This isn't what's supposed to happen! <laughs> I'm right here! Oh, <laughs> you're all here. You're so cute when you panic, so why head to enjoy the view for a bit? <laughs> God damn it! Big <laughs> fluffy got me. <laughs> what is wrong Stop with you? Stop playing around! Why hasn't the situation changed? He must be hallucinating. <laughs> Taking him down shouldn't be a problem. Take him away! Yeah, you forgot to ask him in the voice now. Uh, boss, we got a problem here. What? He's dead! Uh, apparently so. Looks like it's over. Huh? What happened, Shinigami? What's over? Shinigami, what's going on? Okay, finally he, he does... He doesn't like voice it out, so it's just like mindset now. There's always a price to pay. When I read the soul of the true culprit, the mystery labyrinth created by the culprit is destroyed. But as a price, the source that created the mystery labyrinth also perishes. Okay, so that means it's you read the culprit's soul. The source perishes? <gasps> Don't tell me. That's right, the true culprit dies. But that doesn't solve the problem. I mean, he will be still be framed. Then that report saying Zilch the true culprit was dead. Man, that solves today's mystery. The true culprit is as dead as a doornail. Yeah, but there's one little issue, Dash. Fluffy Gummy. <laughs> it doesn't solve the problem. Way to go, master. A happy ending. A roll credits. Uh, yeah. About that. There's nothing happy about this. Zilch died because I solved. Huh? He was a dangerous murderer who killed four master detectives. He deserved to die. Yes, but how is if he's dead? How are we going to prove his in prove my innocence? She I mean, I don't think I'm completely free to go. Not even with Zilch being dead. Yeah, that's a thing. In that case, say exactly what I'm about to tell you. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, so... Swank, did you just receive a report that Zilch was dead? Again? How did you know that? Uh, you... I can hear you from here. Damn it! <laughs> I thought so. If he was alive until moments ago, that changes things about this case. Someone who died in front of our... my... eyes. This is clearly an attempt by the culprit to disguise the truth. Don't tell me the peacekeepers lied to try to cover up what really... You didn't try to frame an innocent person. You learn... Did you? You learn in, in the first chapter. What? What? You think you can weasel your way out of this? You better not forget you're in Kanai Ward now. You're powerless before the might of the Amaterasu Corporation. No, um, I... Hey, don't surrender so easily. You were so close. Yeah, at least tell this guy that he, he's 
You're innocent, and he, the that person who does it, you're under arrest. Oh wait, you're bald? <laughs> oh sorry. Listen, you got no right to remain silent, and you got no right to call a lawyer either. <laughs> Take him away. Oh boy. Okay, let's go, oh, kid. Wait. Hold on. Hold on, just a second. Hey, excuse me. Hmm? Do you have a minute? You. Wait. It's all good. Let's stop all the fighting. We both have to follow orders from the higher up, so let's not do anything that causes unnecessary tension. Falsifying evidence and testimonies is a drag when it comes time to do the paperwork, right? It's tough keeping things consistent. Hey, Zichiban! <laughs> Leave it to me. Yeah? You know, I saw that the true culprit was alive and well just a bit ago. What? What? If you let us go, I'll cook something up in my report to the World Detective Organization. You got square eyes, my friend. Yeah, this you is don't want trouble, right? Voice, think, if the WDO floods this joint because of you. Your punishment might be kind of brutal. So, you know what to do. Leave things well enough alone, as they say. I. Uh... Let's go. I hope I never got to see this guy again. You want some? Okay. Uh, thank you. Oh, thank goodness that worked out. Who is he? Beats me. Beats me? <laughs> yeah, beats me. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta save play like for this now. So, what do we do now? Uh. I just need to lock around first to see if then. Can I go back inside the car? Uh, no. Uh, pity. Well, I bet that was quite a long trip for you. Welcome to Kanai Ward. Thanks. It must be Yuma. Yuma Coco Head, right? I am. And you are? I'm Yako Furio. Yako Furio. I was born and raised in Kanai Ward. Just a humble member of the WDO. I'm the director of the Nocturnal Detective Agency, and the only detective agency in Kanai Ward. My office welcomes you. Nice to make your acquaintance. Yeah, 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 man. Nah. Yeah, this this is KG Tang. Dang, this is voiced by Ichiban Kasuga. <laughs> yeah, I still recognize his voice. Thanks. The pleasure is all mine. Yeah, of course, when I play Yakuza, Yakuza Like a Dragon or Yakuza 7, I have to keep switching from English to, to Japanese voice acting from time to time because of the sub stories. And hearing his English voice actor it makes me like, wow, he, he got this tone. So, okay, I can recognize Keiji Tang. So he's a detective from the WDO. Finally, I've met an ally. He managed to turn away the peacekeepers, so he must be in high standing. Really? He's clearly just some careless middle-aged man. <laughs> oh, by the way, don't tell anyone about yours truly. You might have forgotten, but our secret is included in the contract. It'd be terrible if you broke this rule. To be exact, your whole body would be drained of its blood. <laughs> Shoot. Damn. Okay, I won't tell anyone. Well, even if you did, they'd just assume you're some crazy person. Yeah, just like how Swank said. <laughs> now, shall we? Oh, by the way, I'd like to hear the details about the- uh, Right. Yeah, you won't believe how shit happens. Oh, my boy. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. 
It took a while to get through all the proceed- They practically interrogated you, right? <laughs> Kanai Ward is completely shut off from the outs. Communication devices such as cell phones are confiscated. Cameras are not permitted to leave Kanai Ward either. Even if you smuggle something with reception in, Kanai Ward is a dead zone. Thanks to all that tight closure, nobody's using this fancy station at all. Did you say no one? You show a lot of promise, considering how you handled that Amaterasu trouble. I was scared, to be honest. I don't want to deal with them if I don't have to. The uh, thing is, the peacekeepers always antagonize detectives. Yeah, that's no a basic rule. Never look them in the eye. They're always itching for a fight. Kind of like mad dogs. Right. Amaterasu Corp doesn't want the unified government or the WDO meddling in their matters. I even caught wind of them hiring a hitman. A uh, hitman? Hitman? They plan to wipe out any master detectives before they enter Kanai Ward. The results of which is this Amaterasu Express Massacre. Wait, so Zilch is a hitman? So Zilch was actually a hitman? <laughs> and you know why I do commentary, but yeah. Nope. There was a real master detective named Zilch. He was murdered beforehand and used as a disguise. Oh, so it's a fake Zilch. Jeez. You were in the first car earlier. The real Zilch is laying dead somewhere in there. Excuse me? There was a separate first car at the station before you arrived where Zilch's body was hidden. Then, the four train cars that you rode in would arrive at the station in Kanai Ward and connect with the fake first car. That makes a total of five dead master detectives at Kanai Ward's platform. With no master detectives left, you would be arrested as the only culprit. That was the plan. Yeah, that's why the, the, the fucking Amaterasu people, or oh, peacekeeper, was like, like, rushing inside, just like they assumed that, that there was an incident. Like, they know that this will happen. Ugh. Just... They would go to such lengths? Zilch is a hit- No, 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 Zilch is not a hitman. He w This Zilch was an imposter. So this is a fake Zilch. The hitman disguises Zilch, so it's a fake guy. Absolutely. Even though the plan didn't work, we still lost five master detectives. Given the situation, I'm honestly surprised you survived, Yuma. I was That's drunk. That's all thanks to me. You're so lucky to be haunted by yours truly. Yeah, I just wish that Pucci was alive. Come on. Why they all have to die? Wait, if there was a real Zilch, then the number of people on board the Amaterasu, including me, that makes six people. Yeah, that's Hi, the thing. Pucci. Heard from the World Detective Organization that the number of master detectives on the train was... Precisely five. Yeah, that's the thing. Oh, I'll explain that later. Anyway, let's leave this place. Okay. <laughs> it's raining. Uh, what? Meanwhile, back in the train station. Okay, now, now should we leave this place? I mean, we got that hitman thing. What? New hitman is going. Uh, what? Hey, did you hear something? What? Hey, what? Kid? Who's that guy? Beats me. Oh, whatever. We just. <laughs> the, the guy is just like. This two is like okay. Basket chaps. The two, the two guys like oh uh, okay, whatever. We have to deal with that I hitman first, and, and then we'll only deal with something else. Okay, let's move on. Once the cup is boom, get rewarded. Are from you us. gonna remember all of this? No. Deduction. 
Yay! Jasmine, SS. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I didn't do so well in the stamina because I screw up a lot of time now. Because I kept getting hit a lot of times by the noise and a lot of mistakes. <laughs> so yeah, I think I need to improve on that thing now. Save cover progress. Alright, I think we have to finish the, the prologue. Then we can move on to. Then I can end end the stream, <laughs> cause this is damn long. <laughs> the case is long as. <laughs> yeah, someone told me that prologue is actually shorter. So hopefully this is not the. Okay, so where are we going now, Nyao? It's okay, you learn in time. Alright. Prolo, WDO versus Amaterasu Corporation. Yeah, I'm onto the detective's layer, and I'm wearing coat to the load or something. Hey, this There's is... a place I want to show you. Okay, where? It's the best spot to learn about this town. Hey, relax. Don't be so nervous. Are you sure? Come on, this way. Okay. What are we doing in the rooftop, by the way, now? Uh, let's see. Whoa, what the heck? You know, what a huge city. It, it, it may be because it's rain, but it's a little eerie. Yeah, that thing is... Wow. Uh, so what are we doing here, by the way? <sighs> uh, I love uh, you know the this place? The city from here. This? Oh no. It's like we're always right at the brink of dawn. Amanda, where's this place? This kind of what, but is it any resemblance to any city? Although, thanks to them, the real dawn will never rise here. Yeah. I'll... You mean I'm Terasu Corporation? Kanai Ward is isolated and out of the UG's reach. Now. Amaterasu is the de facto master of the city. None who wish to live in peace dare defy them. As long as you know your place, life can be pretty good here. Open an umbrella and the rain won't touch you. Wear a raincoat and you can even take a girl cycling. Under the rain? You know what I mean, right? Kind. A while back, our detective agency used this building. But we were kicked out due to a contract dispute. The owner claimed renting the building out to detectives made the place unpopular. In Kanai Ward, detectives aren't even allowed to have their own offices. Damn. Really? I don't know what the WDO is thinking, but I don't want this town to change. It should stay the way it is. 
deserves some peace and quiet. Hey, is that bot that we see back over there in the storeroom? Oh, I'm sorry. That's why this time around, I don't want any trouble. It's not, not easy to negotiate with these people. Yeah, you think? It's the place where you bond with Yaku. Oh. Um, I heard that Kanai Ward has a lot of unsolved mystery. Screams are part of the daily noise around here. They're kind of like church bells marking sunset. Whenever someone's smiling in that building, someone else in town is weeping. However, we can't go punching the guy who's smiling. We can only offer a handkerchief to those in tears before quietly slipping away. Nothing more is needed anyway. We're not superheroes or anything. We're just detectives. Just detectives, he said. That yeah. look tells me exactly the kind of place Kanai Ward is. In a way words couldn't begin to describe. Yeah, I can't blame him on that thing. Wait, do they have a lock? That... No, I don't think they have a lock here, so... This if... buzzhead dude comes off like an irresponsible geezer, but there's an ominous aura around him. He only end up like that if you've seen death all the time. Yeah, so that means he sees some... a, a death cases. Could it be because of this city? Maybe. Or maybe it's his old man stench. Yeah! <laughs> uh. Hmm? Something wrong? Is there something on my gorgeous face? What? Back in the day, I was rather popular with the ladies. <laughs> you may think that means I'm no longer so popular. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> I can take one person who, who nearly get beaten up by, by five girls or six girls. <laughs> and you'd be right. The rain, it never stops. Does it rain not? Oh, this stuff? Fatalists would tell you that all rain must come to a stop. But for the past few years, the rain in our town hasn't stopped falling. For years? Yeah, yes? years. It started around, oh, three years ago? Weird, huh? Thanks to that, we have no need for weather forecasts. A city where it's always raining. No wonder things are so dark and damp here. The rain sure has changed things around here. Both the city and the people too. Supposedly, there's something in the rain that messes with our bodies and the environment. But it's all hearsay. No one knows this why is not the acid rain, rain right? <laughs> but it probably has something to do with Amaterasu. Kanai Ward, it's such a bizarre pl <laughs> Bizarre, huh? Uh, you're not gonna make it here if you find this shocking. You'll be seeing a lot of strange things in this city, I'll tell you that much. But there's no need to overcomplicate things. Everything is just an illusion in the rain. Just think of it that way, and you'll be fine. Trust me, it's easier this way. Is it? Well, now that I've finished showing you the town, let's head to the- Okay, fine. I hope this is not acid rain. This, this is place. different. There's a lot more to it than I thought. Hmm? What do you mean? Oh, it smells so good here. It's like there's a florist on every corner. Really? I don't- I didn't mean it literally. To me, then the stench of death. Oh, stench those kind. Death? There are gruesome mysteries all over this place. It smells so lovely. That sounds so ominous. <laughs> you hey, think? the elevator's here. Right. Coming. Now then. Come on, let's go down. Yes. Right. No need for be so nervous. There's nothing dangerous here anyway. Yeah, let's go. Special anomalous zone of Kanawa detecting training floor while in Kanai War. Clock tower. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I don't blame it because of the fact that how do you go to group to plant trees here? So it's just synthetic. This area is called Kamasaki District. It's the busiest and messiest place in all of Ganai Ward. In other words, it's a lively area. The neon looks magically blurred in the rain. If there really is an illusion in the rain, I think... 
It'd be the streetlights. I don't have any memories of the scenery, but it still makes me all nostalgic. Wow. Perhaps I'm from a city like this one. Shinigami, what are you looking? Maybe if you formed my mind into a shape, it looked like this place. Yeah, I think just follow Yako for now. How it's not flooded, given how it's always raining here. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> Looks like they have a good drainage system. See, there's a drain leading to a pipe over there. Yeah. Well, that kind of thing creeps me out. Just imagine what would happen if I got sucked in there. I'm sorry. What? Hey, there's a clown in the sewer staring at you. Wait, what? 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 Huh? A clown? <laughs> Made you look. If <sighs> if it comes out, I'm gonna really gonna really blame you for this, Fluffy Gummy. I explained briefly, but basically, Amaterasu Corp picks on detectives. Ew, My colleagues and hired assistants all quit. They said working here as a detective was simply impossible. So you've been working as the only detective for the whole city ever since? It's not like I can change careers. I'm a WDO detective after all. Clients trust me to do the job. Although most of my requests involve infidelity or finding lost pets. About unsolved mysteries. The peacekeepers get to handle that. Detectives don't even get close. Oh, interesting. But now, things could be different since you're all here. Huh? All? Uh, ew, Shinigami, you need a new nose. Uh, Mami Jan, girls don't have nose. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying it. Just. Okay. Yeah, we got a feeling things will be a bit stuffy moving forward. I need advice. Start talking about Mr. Bubbles the Clown. No, I don't think he means Mr. Bubbles the Clown. He means it, the clown from the movie It. Uh, where the heck are we? Anyway? Wait, serious? Um, is your agency up ahead? Like I said earlier, detectives aren't allowed to work in a proper office in Conite Ward. Ugh, must we travel this nauseating path? I'm too blue-blooded for this. The other master detectives are already waiting at the agency. You're the last to join us. Wait, this mall? Other master detectives? But everyone on the train died. Thanks to that hitman hired by Amaterasu. The WDO anticipated interference. They prepared multiple routes for entry into Kanai Ward. They covered their bases. Other master detectives arrive from routes besides the Amaterasu Express. Both official and unofficial members traveled through these various routes. I see. So it wasn't just the Amaterasu Express. Amaterasu Corporation caught on and tried to interfere on all the routes. Granted, they deny any involvement. Oh, Pennywise. Some routes were completely stamped out. Yeah, yeah, Pennywise. Sorry. Made it. That tragedy happened to others too. Excluding you, there are four others who survived. Unfortunately, a lot of sacrifices were made. But as a result, you could say master detectives of the highest caliber have been gathered here. Each of you did outsmart Amaterasu and made it here after all. The highest caliber? Hearing master get complimented really annoys me. Wh why I wonder what these surviving master detectives are like. So exciting, so mysterious.
Yeah, I just see the clown behind you is like Pennywise dance. Okay. Uh, Here we are. Right. Where's here? Are we? Is your office in the one of the dumpster, the cargoes, the? Um. Where's the agency? It's right here. Where's here? Here. All right. Remember this, Yuma. The most important things cannot be seen by the eye. You have a submarine! You think Burnley was in the DVD and Yeah. You have a freaking submarine! This is the agency? I thought my eyes were gonna pop out! Welcome to the Nocturnal Detective Agency. What, you expected something a bit tidier? I guess I wouldn't call this place clean myself. But isn't it awesome? Our own submarine! Is this really it? <laughs> You've been assigned to a sinking ship of a detective agency. Well, we all live in a yellow submarine. Oh, <laughs> uh, boy. Oh, boy. That's one way to now put it. Okay, so the... I guess it's them. Okay, let's do it. When to... Night chocolate. <laughs> what is in, in the freaking... Thanks for waiting, everyone! Our final new member has arrived at- Watch it! Don't just come barging in here! S sorry What are you talking about? This is my detective agency, isn't it? Since when is yours? Victory is mine. Pay yeah. up. Pay up, okay. Mine, thank you very much. But hold on, that doesn't count. It was an accident thanks to the cheap barging- Nonsense. You should have expected him to return from his errand. Yep. Moreover, you should have realized he was back when our submarine resurfaced. <laughs> why did why did girl reminds me of Jackie and Togami having a having a child and born this girl? <laughs> why do I know I be my recovery of my fast food restaurant? Ah, congrats. <sighs> Not when you put it like that. With my logic, anything. Um what are they? About. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing with those matches? 
No fire is allowed on my sub. Well, you're smoking. You're the one to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah, cool. It's just a little game. He strikes the matches one by one. He wins if he lights ten in a row. But if he fails even once. And he failed. Thus, I get up. Hang on, it was lit. The chief opened the door, which blew it out. I succeeded in lighting it, so the game continues. The hey, ref, how many matches was it? Uh, you can check by counting the number of chuck. Sure thing. Check this out, those sleepy. Hey, don't eat those, but using them to count. How many are we missing now? Two or three? I don't know. Come on, princess. How many did you eat? Be honest. Uh, two or three. Uh, what comes after three? Four. I never remember since I so rarely count that high. Please give me just a moment to recall it. <laughs> this girl has a Sonya Nevermind vibes right now. <sighs> Only she's it's a bit so more ditzy. <laughs> um, why don't you count the number of matchsticks you've used instead? Oh, right. Uh, I'll just count the matchsticks in the ashtray. Why the hell are there so many? Didn't you say no open flames are allowed in here? <laughs> It's harder to quit than you think. <laughs> yeah, th this guy's the one to talk about about doing start a fire when he's the one who's smoking, you know. <laughs> uh -huh. I remember the number four comes after three, so the answer is four. Huh? But there is still a chocolate missing. Hang on, there were more than four to begin with. Did you eat another one? I was <laughs> angry. You're eating it right now! <laughs> it is too delicious. So this is what commoners eat. Interesting. <laughs> Wait, I, what? Are you really that rich now? <sighs> it is simply heavenly. Anyway, time to pay up. Okay, I'm taking his money. Thank you very much, now. <laughs> okay, Enough. Okay. I'm using my authority as chief to end this game. And no more gambling. Do you understand you're in con, I ward? Don't give the peacekeepers any reasons to drop in on us. Virtue, honesty, and sting the hell out of trouble. That's our motto here at Nocturnal Detective Agency, got it? Now then, I'd like to introduce you to our final team member. Yuma Cocohead. A round of applause, please. Nice to meet you all. Well, at least one person is clapping hand. Detectives. But they all look kind of dumb. Let's see, uh... Any of my dirty is supposed to count them? Uh, I'm not sure what's... I wonder which one of them will die first. Please <laughs> don't oh, jinx me. it, you... <laughs> hey, knock it off! They managed to get past Amaterasu's attacks. I'm sure they're all amazing. Now then... Yuma? Let me introduce everyone to you. First, the one sitting over there is Halara Nightmare, a great master detective. The first to arrive at Kanai Ward. Halara, Halara, Night, Halara Nightmare. So... The little match boy over there is Desuhiko Thunderbolt. Wait, who's the match boy? You! <laughs> Desuhiko Thunderbolt. The beautiful lady next to him is Fubuki Clockford. She is the heiress of the famous Clockford family. Okay, so she is. A pleasure to meet you. Wait, is this Haru's voice actor? And the one inside the fireplace. Wait, what? What fireplace? But why there of all places? He says it's calming in there. Anyway, Vivia his name Twilight. is Vivia Twilight. Hey, nice to meet you. Yeah, I love me reason for you. What the hell? Right, now that we're all here, 
How do you even fit inside the fireplace in the first place now? Shut up, Shinigami. I need to start talking to the ghost. Fine. Sit down right here. Okay. Now, all remaining agents sent to the Nocturnal Detective Agency are here. There are a lot less of you than what we originally planned. Well, regardless of how many people we would have gotten, we'd still be no match against the Peacekeeper's numbers. So, we'll keep laying low down here and avoid... Huh? You want us to submerge in this filthy river? I didn't come here to rot like sewage! Hi, Mad... Madmus Asvidia. The... I want to make a grand entrance! Solve all unsolved mystery- Oh! In Kanai Ward, solving cases won't make you famous. All information is controlled by the peacekeepers. They simply conceal anything that's inconvenient to them. If you want to be famous in this town, it's much easier if you're a villain. All becoming Amatatsu peoples. I see. Wait, don't actually do it! Don't instigate anything with those guys. Got it? <laughs> yeah, this the, don't you want to be a villain, Dad? God. <laughs> I'm just kidding around. Why is the WDO gathering master detectives in Kanai Ward? What do they want us to do? Honestly, I don't know what the WDO is thinking either. I just found out about this recently. My you didn't receive any instructions? Not yet, at least. I'm hoping they'll call us eventually, but before that... There's something I need to verify first. Yuma, it's about you. Huh? Me? Yeah, I don't know. what's his case? I heard the peacekeepers talking and learned about it back then. Do you really have amnesia? Huh? Yeah, it seems like I do. I don't remember anything from before getting on the Amaterasu. Ah, then you and I are alike. We are amnesia buddies, Yuma. <laughs> what do you mean by that, Fubuki? Huh? Fubuki, you too? Indeed. I cannot remember what I had for breakfast. I cannot even recall how I got here. <laughs> yeah, this is Haru's voice actor, uh, Zenti Huin. This is Zenti Huin. Uh, I think you're just forgetful. Don't make things even more complicated. Yeah, I agree now. My apologies. That's forgetful. What not is the source of your amnesia? Is Amaterasu Corporation responsible? No, uh, it doesn't seem likely. I was still at the station when I woke up. So you really don't remember anything? Oh, I'm surprised you got past Amaterasu's attacks like that. Yeah, he was getting framed, so he's got lucky. I probably can't tell him it's thanks to the pact I made with it. You better not. Talking about me breaks the contract. I think I was just lucky. Well, you can work off your debt to me. Why? So you really don't know who you are. In other words, you don't remember if you're a detective? That's correct. Oh, but I do have a letter from the WDO, and this outfit is definitely mine. I don't doubt you. That's not what I'm worried about. I've already verified your identity. Okay, so... Huh? You know who I, I didn't just daydream in the park and feed pigeons while y'all were heading here. Even the <laughs> I don't think there's pigeons over there, but that's a figure of speech. <laughs> I checked the routes everyone used and provided support wherever I could. Unfortunately, most of the info was kept secret, so supporting you was all I could do. At the very least, I did manage to obtain info about the Amaterasu Express. Then again, it was mostly thanks to Halara and Desuhiko since they arrived so early. I got the passenger list from Amaterasu Corporation using my special forte. That ability is top secret, so uh, I'm not gonna tell you about it just yet. Okay... Your name was on the passenger list, Yuma. Once we knew your name, obtaining more information was easy. I this doesn't sound like something you need to hear. What? Of course it is! Mm. So... The truth might surprise you, but among the master detectives registered at the WDO, no individual with the name Yuma Cocohead exists. So who is he then? What do you mean? 
Five master detectives were summoned to the Amaterasu Express. That is an undisputable fact. But a detective in training was also summoned. Oh, so Yuma was a detective in training. Detective in train? That's you, Yuma. Looks like you've been working toward being a detective at the WD. You may be part of the organization, but you haven't earned your stripes just yet. Two. Okay. So, I'm not really a master detective yet? <laughs> that sounds about right. You never felt- Despite that, I know for sure you'll be an integral part. I reviewed your profile in the WDO records, and it turns out you have a phenomenal ability. Oh? What ability is that? Ability? So I do have- Your record claims that you're a great cook. <laughs> Would you mind making us breakfast from now on? Uh, your leg is made. Your leg is made. I don't know if I can. I don't have any memories about cooking. Never mind. Did my profile mention like where I used to live or my It didn't have any details of the sort. You see, you've got a trainee's profile, not a proper master detective's. I see. You know, trainees are kinda like appetizers at a restaurant, don't you think? I guess that makes you the appetizer detective! Yeah. <laughs> uh. I'll do my best to train you. What's wrong? There's nothing to feel ashamed. Also, not everyone can use their forte from the get-go. Though some are born rather gifted. Still, no matter how much talent you have, you require the right training to make the most use of your... No matter how smart they are or how dexterous their fingers, no surgeon dives straight into surgery. The same goes for master detectives. If you want to do things the right way, you have to learn it. So, everyone here what? also yes. trains at the World Detective Organization? The WDO requires a two-year training period for all agents. No exceptions. During that time, the agent's paranormal disposition is honed into a forensic form. And the- Like... Plus, once you become a master detective, you get a detective deed from the WDO! By the way, not all detectives working for the WDO are master detectives. There are regular detectives, like myself, who don't have fortes. Oh, really? I still got my detective deed. It doesn't say master detective on it, but it still holds the same way. A forte mostly depends on innate talent. Some people will never develop it, no matter how much effort they put in. But that doesn't mean they can't be a detective. Anyone can get a detective deed as long as they complete their training. So, is that my case as well? There is no record about your forte. Damn it! <laughs> you could be like me and have no special pop. I knew it. Who cares about that? You've got me, Master. Yeah, Look, sure. there's no need to be so down about having no forte of your own. That has nothing to do with whether you're a good detective. Even a kid or a delinquent can be a master detective if they're good at one thing. Yeah, Apex. <laughs> I can see. But detectives with no special abilities must pass basic testing with flying colors before they're certified. So, in fact, you could say those without special abilities make better detectives. Oh, you're just tooting your own horn, old man. But being yeah. both a capable detective and a master detective would be even better, such as myself. You're tuning your own horn too! Anyway, yeah, I, I whether know. you have an ability <laughs> or not, the fact remains that you've been striving to be a detective. Yeah, I think she's like, hello, I was like, yeah, I know, I know. So, I wanted to... Also, keep in mind that despite being a trainee, you were given a directive. That's pretty impressive. You must be quite capable. I mean, master detectives were killed, but I'm... I am sure you shall eventually remember all that you have forgotten, Yuma. Although, I still do not remember what I ate this morning, let alone yesterday's weather. I <sighs> see. Hey, Saiko, thank you for the... the wishes, and thank you for the look, Yao. It was raining. It's always raining. Oh, right. Is she this dumb on purpose? I think she's putting on an act. No, I think Maybe she's, she's a giant skank. 
It's boom kill time if you fall for her, Master. Hey, I didn't do anything. By the way, my agency treats both trainees and detectives as the same thing. To all you master detectives, you better not drop your guard or the rookie here is gonna steal your thunder. Got it? <laughs> Go ahead and try. Too bad for you, rookie. I'm gonna take all the medals. Uh. I have no desire to compete. <laughs> you senior detective, sh Vivia. Anything you'd like to say to the noob? Hmm. No, just I need to read a book. <laughs> no, none. Uh, a call? That's the direct line to the World Detective Organist. All communication and con I and obviously, it's kept secret from the Amaterasu. If they're contacting us, maybe they'll finally give us our orders. Go ahead, rookie. Huh? You want me to answer? Uh, okay. Yes? Um, hello, Nocturnal Detective Agency. Hello Please there. state your business. <laughs> Good work, all of you. Whoop. I assume everyone is present. Hmm. So few of you survived. Far less than I anticipated, but considering who survived, this should suffice. What the hell? Who's this grandpa? He acts like he's hot shit. What beats me? I've never seen him before. My contact is usually someone totally different. Perhaps he dialed the wrong number? <laughs> this is the WDO number! How can it be a wrong number now? No, uh, that's impossible. This is a direct line to the WDO. Um, who are you? Would you mind telling us your name? A name? Unfortunately, I discarded my name long ago. Now, I simply go by number one. I'm sure you've heard of me. Uh, number one? <laughs> number one! Are you really gonna call this game? This boss number one? What? Number one? You're joking! Seriously? Uh, my sincerest apologies for my. I didn't expect number one himself to appear. This must be very serious business. Is he a big deal or something? Number one is the top master detective. Leader of the World Detective Organization. Oh! The top detective of the WDO? He rarely ever shows himself. Thus, no one knows his true identity. He is only known among detectives as... Number one. He's the top of the... It's just some old man. <laughs> it's just some old man! <laughs> I am here to give those got... of you who Nothing arrived yummy. your instructions. There is a dangerous secret lurking here. Which we refer to as Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? However, Kanai Ward's ultimate secret isn't a problem affecting only this city. There is a chance it relates to the ongoing great global mystery. Hence why I chose to deliver your orders directly. Move swiftly to investigate Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Doing so will assist us in solving the great global mystery. That is all. Huh? That's it? Why do you think you're there? If you're a detective, search for clues yourself. You're not gonna ask me. God, I'm number one. Providing any information beforehand will merely result in misconceptions. Uh, yeah. Do you recall the World Detective Organization's cr A detective must never overlook a mystery. Any and all truths must be exposed. A detective must always prioritize solving a case. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. I heard that every single day during training. But it's not something you can easily put into practice. Is that true, Master? I don't remember at all. Mysteries are the greatest threat to humanity. <laughs> what? Majima, is this guy you get from next door? <laughs> don't be real. <laughs> mysteries? Okay. The WDO will not allow mysteries to go unsolved. They shall be eradicated with sagacious wit and in- We must go, go forth, proud detectives. Eliminate all mysteries from this world. 
Why are these guys is acting like a priest or something, but <laughs> I guess oh, okay, entrance mission. Hey, did you hear that? We gotta we play our cards right, we're guaranteed to It isn't so simple. Just look at Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Must have something to do with Amaterasu, which means we have to snoop on them. <laughs> so it's a full-on war then. War is awful. I myself am a pacifist. Well, it's something we have to do from here on. There you go again with your jokes. I'm not joking. Fubuki, were you listening? No. Huh? I was. However, I was also lost in my own thoughts. <laughs> you weren't listening then! So, Chief, any ideas about Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? This place has so many secrets that I have no idea where to start. But one thing that comes to mind is this unending rain. He said that it has something to do with the great global mystery. I have no clue what that is. Well, for now, let's sneak into our... Oh, come on. You, Don't you, you dare do anything dangerous like that. It's not like they're leaving secrets in easy-to-reach spots. Then what are we supposed to do? You really want to know? The right thing to do is absolutely nothing. Jeez. How did it end up like this? I just hope that the, the number one doesn't call back. I heard that. Oh, come on. You need to snap out of it, Chief. I've got a bad feeling about all this. Who would have guessed number one would show up? Ah! All I wanted was to sink quietly into the river. Are things really that bad? Yeah, lives are at stake here. Danger is a daily occurrence in all of Kanai War. I'm used to wagering my life like poker chips. It feels like my path. Maybe for you, but I'm not that way. Who said I wanted that? I got it. Let's pretend like we didn't hear it. No, I know that's impossible. <laughs> Given the sacrifices that were already made, the WDO can't back down now. Like, uh, I, like I said, if number one hurts that, it's like, I heard that. I guess we have no choice. Chief Yako. Everything that goes down in this city is handled by the peacekeepers of Amaterasu Corporation. They simply fabricate or cover things up in whatever way is most convenient for them. Yeah, just like how he got, almost got arrested. In other words, the truth they're hiding may be connected to Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Some of these <laughs> no, are just... unsolved mysteries then. But there are tons of cases where they covered up the truth. Then what we need to do is clear. Uh-huh. Don't stare at me, dumbfounded rookie. We've got to crush each but all of them. I oh. suppose that's one way to solve whatever. Oh, fine. Truth be told, I wish this day had never come. But part of me knew that it was inevitable. Our goal now is to expose Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. We'll be up against Amaterasu Corporation. So please, be extremely careful. We don't know what these guys will do to interfere with us. That said, you all survived the deadly trip to get here, so I'm sure you're up to the challenge. We've been trapped in this rain for a long time now, but it's time to put an end to that. Please, help me save this city. You are him, master. I love it. Things are getting interesting. <laughs> <sighs> In the unending rain, through the winding neon cityscape, draped in my raincoat, I roam in search of my missing memories. What secrets lurk in this labyrinth of drainage pipes? Man, this guy. We have yet to find the answer. The story of detectives facing the darkness that enshrouds the truth is about to begin. What the? F <laughs> oh, yeah, 
God. <laughs> Key music time. <laughs> Oh, Lucian Dodge! Shinigami, Anjali, Kuna, Panin. I don't know what I'm like, the Amber Lee. This is a good time to make Tokyo game. Oh, dun Hello, WDO versus. Wow. <laughs> wow, this is awesome now. <laughs> 